endorsing a new cola, kids. And this one isn't poisonous to anybody. That we know of. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, I figured, like, we won't really need to do much of um, preamble, because it's basically like, let's set the stage. End game. <laughs> it's like, oh no. Mm -hmm. The broken foundations of which a fumbling, crumbling disaster crawls out of. <sighs> Another great day, but for storytelling. Yeah. It's you know, if it's yeah. This it's a triumphant day, you know. Yeah, we're, we're, we had yeah, we this... we did a show that has a '60s aesthetic, isn't that? That's a triumph. We had the money to build these sets. All right, player one. Uh, Palmer. Glorious purpose. Use the Glor yeah. To move Which makes you wonder if they are going with the whole he's going to get a revenge mission at some point on Thanos. It was kind of weird, that scene, in terms of, like, was he... Is that what he's hoping for? I don't... Can they... Are they going to get Josh Brolin back, or is he, like, done, you know? Is he... You'd, I think he'd be done, but... Obviously, he doesn't so. have to well, get revenge able. on Thanos, but he can want it. I don't know if that's even what they were going for. I don't know. <sighs> I, I don't know. In, well, I guess we'll let people file in. Yeah, yeah, just chill out for a little bit longer, and then we can start talking about it. Um, yeah, we can. So, <laughs> for those listening time. to this in the VOD form, right? You might you might be thinking, wait, what? Why did they do this? They didn't do this for Winter Soldier and Wandavision. But we're going to do a little history lesson first while people pop in. Wandavision episodes one through three. I think this actually. Um, I was playing Bloodborne at some point when we were talking about it, but we were happy. We were like, you know what? We were pretty hmm. happy. Yeah. Like, oh, uh, it was a neato little show. Fun characters were doing their thing, it, and there was a lot of mystery. Um, and they were taking the. It was, it was neat. It was neat, and and then a four, five, six, four. and and just yeah, and then we and went then from you know the rest. No coverage to all right. EFAP episode because we got to go over mainly because the huge damage of destroying Scarlet Witch as a character that was. Uh... Yep, she's gone, or or very nearly gone. Depends. What happens? And then you got In good old, Strange. good old Falcon Winter Soldier, which I think after the first episode we were all just like, hmm. Well, I think I think we all got kind of the that impression, like a sort of, oh, uh oh, you know, you yeah, can, we you can happy. tell, you can just tell. Mm -hmm. We're happy with a bunch of saying, things, but, but uh, yeah. we were on board with some stuff here and there. We're just like, this could be good. Depends how they do. And then by the time they got mm -hmm. to the end, it was fucking atrocious and painful. This one. Took just one episode. It took a couple of minutes, I think, before it was clear that we're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's like immediately because this is the thing: you got the fun job of you want to start your own TV show. Well, you gotta do the connective tissue between uh, the last piece of continuity from the actual movies you want to use, and then your show. So it's like, so where we start? And it's like from the moment that Loki grabs that space stone. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that, um, it was, it was before the title credits played that it was already, we, we're, yeah. <laughs> it's already fucked. Yeah. But we won't spoil that for you just yet. <laughs> well, yeah, of course, because I feel, feel like most people haven't even seen the episode yet. We watched it, like... Well, it's only been out for, like, an hour, yeah. Yeah. We, we've already done it. But, hey, you don't need to watch it, all right? In fact, I would... I, you know. Yeah. Well, we, you know, <laughs> we we can talk about why, and for those mm. out there who are thinking of watching it, we'll just we'll just give you the summary. Um, but in once once everybody's here, I guess, or well, lots of people show up. We didn't know we were going to be doing this, by the way, everybody. No, we wait, this, this wasn't was, intended. This was unplanned. Yeah. Um, but, wait, you know. <laughs> someone just said what before the title credits? Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. I've been working on a little endgame video, and the closer Loki got, my thought process was, huh, well, this, this show is probably gonna... It might be worthwhile to hold off. It was correct of me to hold off. It, it Yeah, I'm glad I held off on finishing that script before watching even the first ten minutes of this <laughs> show. 
for reasons I don't know, it's like which will become clear. The form of the hack writer to be like, right, so I just want everything to be my way, okay? So I'm gonna have a couple scenes which to is, just have them say yeah. that. Like, okay. Mm-hmm. Um yeah, this is a very unusual time to stream, so I wouldn't be surprised if the, the, this is about as far as we'll yeah. get in terms of people getting rustled up. But of course, this will be back on Moolah immediately. Mm -hmm. Especially if we only do this for like an hour or two, so I can get it on yeah. there real quick. So, I guess we should begin. Mm -hmm. So, in The Haunting of Blind Manor, oh, no. there is a character named Owen. And Owen... Owen's, he's not a huge part of the show. He's a pretty, pretty, you know, great character. Very well acted. And one of the, one of the, one of the scenes with Owen is he is expressing that his, this is after, in I get somewhat, I guess somewhat spoilers for Bly Manor, if that's regarding Owen. I feel like I know what spoiler you're going to give, and it's not really a huge spoiler, right? If, if it's the one I think right, you're going to so, give. Owen... Uh, Owen works at Blind Manor because he's a chef and he wants to be close to his mother. His mother is old and aged and she is very uh, she, she's she's not going to be around for too long. She's got a lot of mental issues. She's not long for this world anymore. And Owen he, he takes a lot of effort to be there, be close to her, take care of her. And it's clearly a drain on his life and it hurts him a lot. And eventually his mother dies. And he tells to one of the other characters that he feels a little bad for thinking this, but he's kind of glad that she's dead because it's just like this big weight has been taken off of him. And that, in a way, is kind of how I feel about Loki. I feel like the MCU is on life support. It was something that was great, something that I used to love, something that I was familiar with, and it's just barely hanging on, beep, beep on that little monitor, and now it's done. It's dead. Loki ripped out it's the cord. Finished. It's over. <laughs> it's over. Yeah, it's done. Loki, We're done. Loki it's, has it's pulled over. the plug on, uh, on the MCU. It's yeah, done. We... It's finished. It's over. Nothing matters. For reference, all... folks, we're not dealing with... Um, you know, a villainous character who has a nonsense motivation. We're not dealing with one of our main heroes getting assassinated. We're not dealing with the world being in a position that's just impossible, considering everything we knew, like uh, just stupid things happening or whatever. They have altered our understanding so significantly now that, like, it just renders all of the fucking drama of every single movie kind of void. It's all, it's over. It's, it's done. It, yeah, it's it's um it is from a world building perspective, Loki is catastrophic in ways that I wasn't even We were ready I, for we this. Didn't think it'd be this bad. <laughs> no. We we suspected it could have been because yeah. of uh the, the, the general premise that they were trying to sort of set up with the show. But it's yeah. done and it's over. And it's worse than you thought it was, and it's it, worse than I thought it was, and it's just it's a one. It's, it's a, a one, one, guys. It's it a is one. a one. It is a one. It's worse than... It's a one out of ten. I guess it's, it's the worst MCU content. Earth it... level. And this is the thing, you'll come to learn very well about it's not about how much we liked it or disliked it. We're strictly talking about respecting cause and effect. It's fucked. Mm -hmm. It's nothing matters. Nothing matters anymore. It's all finished. It's over. So that's it's our done. pitch <laughs> for this stream. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're gonna talk about why Loki episode one is a mm -hmm. one out of ten. It's like the it's 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 yeah, it's awful. Um, it is awful. And don't the worry, only it's, things that you, I was just yeah. gonna say, it's got your standard problems in there as well, not just good old fashioned destroyed everything. It's also got it's, it like, definitely really shitty yeah. contrived right in. It definitely has that, but like, god damn, there is really. To get it out of the way first, yeah, Loki. The show it looks really cool. The aesthetics cool. There's not really much of a reason behind it, but it's cool. They had the money to build those sets. Yeah, um, and all the little deep gadgets, the costumes. Yeah, um, yeah that's animation. that's all neat, but strictly in aesthetics, and it's just cool. That's that's all there is to it because I don't really get why 
a time variance authority that was created by blue lizard people that exists beyond space of time would have a 1960s America aesthetic and be populated entirely by human beings. That's a little weird. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Um... Yeah, yeah, I, I was underplaying it. It's not a little weird. It makes no <laughs> sense. But um, yeah, um, they have good actors, you know. Tom Hiddleston's he's, yeah, he's it's a, he's he, he's acting well. All the acting he's acting fine, yep you know? as he's, good as good as he can with the material, considering how he's acting, devoid. Yeah, considering that this is it, they clearly are doing their own version of Loki here. Um, uh, I guess that's good. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Maybe he couldn't have acted any other way. Yeah. Wow. So well, yeah, because people are going to be curious, like, what is the thing then? And it's like, we'll we'll make it clear when we go over the thing that's destroyed everything. Um, it's funny because like the the second the show starts, right? You know, the we we they recount to us the events of Endgame, just strictly from Loki's POV, kind of, and then he grabs the thing and it it ports him to um a desert. I forget which Gobi Desert in Mongolia. Yeah, for some reason it fires him out of the sky, like. See, the, this is immediately a problem for me, because it's not... I don't even know why they did it in terms of, like, entertainment value. I guess it looks kind of cool and it's fun, but, um... Either he can control it or he can't, right? So if he can't, was that incredibly lucky? That, yeah, what if he teleported himself into the vacuum of space? Yeah. Was, was he... Did he know where he was going? Did the again, time cops know where he was going? Well, the time cops go? do know where he went because they know everything. Well, yeah, well, they yeah. detect him through an anomaly, right? Yeah, so they can just detect anomalies throughout the entire universe. But and how it makes does, you wonder why they didn't. How does I that don't, make? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know. So I know that they have a big organization. However, when you are keeping track of all time and space across the multiverse of. Like, like, how could well, you possibly... Wait. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Multiverse, because this show is excellent. Yeah, we are getting ahead of ourselves. <laughs> well, okay, fine. We're we'll just, just go with... They have access to all of time, and they detect anomalies in all of time. To the point where, say, yes. for example, if someone went to Grave Rob from the year 2000 back to the 1800, they would detect that and stop you. Which is yep. really interesting. And you might, in chat, be wondering, well... Why would they stop you? Just because you're using time stuff? It's like, oh no, no, no. It's that you're using no. time stuff and they don't like that you've done it that way. Yes. Someone because could what? go back in time and grave rob and they might go, you know what? That one's good because that's a part of the plan. Yes. Who sets the plan, Mahler? Why, why would one... Why oh, do, why, easy, why, easy why, answer. Do you mean? Easy answer for that. Three lizard people set the plan. Yes. The three lizard people decided... At some point in time in the past, presumably a very long time ago, that the Avengers, they can go back in time. That's okay. That's part of the plan. But when Loki now exists, which they had to know would have happened, presumably, if they knew what was going to happen in in uh in the future. Well, they can time travel. So yeah, I so don't get it. The Avengers, I. It's funny, as I was saying it out loud, I was like, wait a minute, that, wait, like, you know, like, you just sit there. Remember, the, so they the pop Avengers around like, to the 1800s, the yes. 1500s, the modern day, it's like, so you guys can just yeah. go anywhere whenever you want. Yep. You can go anywhere, wherever you want, and, and you think, know that the Avengers were gonna go back and, yeah. You'd think as a result of that, they would then have to, like, this is a little, this is still problematic as fuck for writing, but... The quest would be like, okay, so, uh, you know, Tony Stark and blah blah blah, they knock the space stone into Loki's hands, so we're gonna have to go back to that time and prevent that from happening. To get the timeline back on track. But they decided instead not to do that, but to make it a lot harder for themselves. Well, by people, going... They'd capture Loki. Yeah. That, that, and you'd think, like, how does this not just fuck with everything anyway? Well, yeah, because now my question is, so... You know how, like, Loki gets taken, he poops out, and Thor's there like... Hey Loki, where are you? What? That's still happening, right? It yeah. doesn't matter that you've come in and taken Loki away. That's still happening. There is a tangent timeline that exists where yeah, Thor is standing there looking around for Loki, and the Tesseract doesn't exist. And Thor two doesn't happen. Thor two doesn't happen, and we know that the Tesseract ain't going back because they keep all of the Infinity Stones in a drawer in a desk at the Time Variance Authority. 
they have like six space stones five reality stones like four or five space stones and two mind stones so it's nice to know that black widow sacrificed herself for an object that's a that paperweight is sitting in a fucking desk that's a paperweight that's really cool for a dumb stupid joke but but wasn't it hilarious it was Even pretty though, hilarious yes that yeah that makes it this, all worth it this frame i don't think i've seen a single frame that has destroyed so much <laughs> in such a short amount of time this like this, this image, though, unironically this image should be shown in every film school <laughs> yeah because this is what this is what it, it's without any context of what this image is you'd think it's just oh that's weird it's just jewelry and a thing blah 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 no no this is how you actually destroy an entire just cinematic universe in one image yeah this is how you, you wanted it. It. this is it you wanted a joke and you didn't care what it meant because what does the black widow and the sacrifice people who would understand the joke the most are the ones who will laugh the least yeah because this isn't a you joke you know what it this means is pain this is pain looking at this image black widow died for something this guy just the people use as paperweights in the time variance authority and, and remember that, that and oh, yeah we will never know how many times hawkeye won because he wasn't allowed to win no, that's right. He wasn't allowed to win. He has no free will. In the MCU, it is, like, confirmed. Free yeah, will so doesn't exist. To make sure everybody's clear on this, right, the way this works is the lizard people, they have the sacred timeline, which means everything happens the way that they want it to happen. So, if Rag's waking up one morning, he's like, do I have a drink of water? Or drink a, a drink of milk? Or some melted snow? You're like, it's just like, I don't know, which one of these things am I going to pick? And he picks the wrong one, they will, I guess, fuck with time until he picks the right one. Yeah, and melt the variant copies of Rags, who didn't make the correct decision. Yeah, like, literally, Rags could pick up the wrong glass, and then they'll teleport in, capture him, take him to this retarded fucking facility, and if he even and steps he out of line, they'll erase him, yep. before erasing yeah, him anyway. Yeah, if he forgets to grab a ticket, uh, they'll turn him into floop juice and he'll go to a court and they'll say, how do you plead? I plead not guilty. You're guilty. Bye bye. That's it. At That's least he got to that point. The other dude got yeah. fucking vaporized. The other guy got vaporized before he got his trial because the time variance authority are assholes. They are except for Owen Wilson. Nazis. Except for Owen Wilson. They're, yeah, they're He's like, like the only one. <laughs> dude, it's a horrifying regime already. Like, yeah, yeah. I, this is they're the are... ultimate villains of the the yeah. universe the cause i can't even say universe. the cosmos the co the old they are an unelected an undemocratically ruled completely beyond any level of accountability authority that decides everything that is going to happen in all of existence and if you step out of line they'll kill you they'll they will kill, kill you, you. yeah it will vaporize you at, at a whim do you, without like, any issues whatsoever i don't know like chat do you do you understand <laughs> this is very <laughs> bad like this is very, very, and again, no free will. Every decision that was made, Tony was always going to snap his fingers and use the stones. So, yeah. wait. So, Doctor Strange saw 14 million possible futures, but there weren't 14 million. No, there no, was one. He was All cool. of them were Maybe. variants. Oh, I see. So, so they weren't possible then. No, he, he obviously, <laughs> his limited, squishy monkey brain thought that they were options, but they're all variants. Oh. And now you've just reminded me again. So I was writing my notes for my script. Um, so what the show establishes is that the timeline splits at nexus points or nexus junctions. These are instances where somebody or something has deviated from the way that things were supposed to be. Um, now, you might remember that in Endgame, Tilda Swinton says that removing a, t a stone from existence is what creates the variation. Now that's really stupid, but this show has confirmed that it is indeed not removing the stone, but that there are many reasons why a, a timeline might might vary. No matter how you look at it, there is something wrong with this explanation. Neither of these can coexist with each other, so there's an inherent contradiction in the universe, but either one of these explanations makes no sense. Just yeah. functionally, it makes no sense. And by the way, the multiverse, like, it's not... There is no, it is not what you would think it is where it's like, oh, we've got like this multiverse, but there's also this other universe that's running and doing all of its own things. All of the multiverses that exist in the MCU are splitting off from one singular timeline. 
there is no other universe where Raimi Spider-Man existed and did his things legitimately. It doesn't make sense that there could be, because this show says explicitly no... that the longer that there are no other timelines, that if there are other timelines, it spirals out of control, and then there's a timeline war. This makes no sense. Yeah, the lizard yeah, people. No sense to me. They say the multiverses fight for control of everything. Yeah, I don't know just, what the fuck they meant I, by I guess that. That's just, yeah. And they just, this is just delivered to us. It, it's such lazy exposition. Because yeah, it's yeah. just, oh, it's we like gotta get all this shit out of the way. They're like, so hey, look, happens. quirky 60s animation style while relaying incredibly stupid information to us. Genuinely, like, it's just random infomercial, like, we'll just dump it, fuck it, because we can't be asked. Um, and yeah. then, like, from that point on, every time this, anything is referenced that's confusing, they laugh it off. They're like, <laughs> And they yeah. lampshade, Lizard people. hardcore. Absolutely. They lampshade. To, to be clear, uh, Fringy, what is lampshading for those of us who don't, you know, aren't that familiar with that term? It doesn't pop, it doesn't pop up that much <laughs> in our story. So lampshading is when an, a character or, like, something in the story acknowledges a flaw and then they joke about it and move past it as if the floor doesn't exist. Like, as if their acknowledgement of the floor renders it Not a floor. Uh, irrelevant. Yeah. Because they're like, oh, this is stupid. It's like, oh, I mean, I don't... I think it's actually worse that you know that this is stupid and you did it anyway. <laughs> That's... So it's even worse. Um... Loki was pretty hardcore destroyed by the... Like, in this episode... We... We, we have material that if this was like a good show would be the ending of loki's arc throughout like a whole season or a whole couple of seasons to that put would it happen yeah, in so, the first episode so first of all like he's been assassinated in terms of he's absolutely incompetent like throughout. he's not the same person yeah he's making so many fucking decisions that are frustrating it sucks as well because he's he should be more competent now than ever this is like super cunning evil loki that will do anything to benefit himself this is avengers fight. loki which yeah, is, yeah, but... Avengers Loki was really intimidated. If you watch that movie again, his arrival, he just fucks everyone up. Mm -hmm. yep. Um, in this, he, like, meets with the t fucking time cops. I don't even know what else to call them. They have, like, these... Time variance authority. TV. Fuck that, they're time cops. They have little, like, uh, <laughs> batons that when they hit you with them, they put you in slow motion. Um, don't question how that makes mm -hmm. any fucking sense. Like, yeah. it, just just go with it, I guess, sort of thing. They hit you with time flume juice. Like, they, we'll just have to keep going with guns. that. don't have guns. Um, and so they, Loki, because he's stupid, right, spawns in the desert, and he's like, wow, how weird is this? Then the time cops just show up, and he's like, ah, oh, you know what? Get out of my way. I'm Loki. And then they hit him, and he's like, law, and gets frozen. And it's like, huh. You know what Loki was really good at throughout all of Avengers, which took place like half an hour ago in his timeline? Really good I'm at setting up things? fake Lokis. Oh. Really good at it. He actually wins. He did it a few times. Yeah, he yeah. wins a few times by doing it. Um, and no, he, he, his real self walks up to these people he doesn't recognize who just teleported in and clearly are a threat. And he's just like, yeah, get out of my way. Oh no, I've been imprisoned. Oh no. And especially considering that he just got his ass beaten by Hulk for talking and getting too close and not doing that and getting distracted by his speeches. Man, feel like he wouldn't make that kind of mistake twice, but he does because like he's he, not he's, the same person. It would be, it would be cool. Yeah, you think he's a cunning, clever character. Why can't he make a fight yeah. scene where he gets outsmarted because they're like really fucking competent cops or whatever, but he actually yeah. gets to do all of the things that he fucking does? You know, work hard. Fight. Just be no. clever. Yeah. Nah, never mind. And yeah, they basically just have this throwaway line where it's like, your magic doesn't work here, lol. It's like, oh. I don't know why that it's would not be just the case magic. All. The Infinity Stones don't work there either. The Infinity Stones don't work in this yeah, everything's because like... it's beyond space and time. Kind of like that place in fucking uh, Crisis they... on Infinite Earths. Yeah. Even though we're clearly but existing and does... moving around this location and, and events breathing. are occurring, that's, we are that's what I mean. It's just funny. It's like, time. oh, your magic doesn't work here because it's outside of what existence. It's like, so where the fuck are yeah. we? But we're here. But we're we clearly exist. We so. we breathe. We exist. We have atoms. I don't understand. Yeah, events are occurring, so time exists. Yep, and there and is space because you're moving around it, and we're things moving around exist. and interacting with things. So space. So where exist. are we? <laughs> but we don't know because we're lamp. We just not acknowledge it because we want our our nifty little sixties aesthetic. We just want it. 
Do you like how uh, Loki made a completely valid point and she said no cause reasons? Which one? I was gonna say which yeah, point. Yeah, which one? <laughs> <laughs> Loki um, asks a lot so of many. questions that are very reasonable well, questions sorry. to ask that are very just, but they just don't care. Oh, also, that's just reminding me again of Loki being. So, huh? Loki, Loki got thirty minutes earlier. Loki got smashed into the floor so hard by Hulk that it was cracking, but yet he almost loses a fight to a person. Well, as far as we can tell, line? just a human being. So, part of there's so many things to talk about. This 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 episode is like so bad in so many ways because they've just given us all this new information. But like you like the time cops. All right. Mm -hmm. So what are their capabilities? Like they seem to just be humans. I don't know yeah, what else to just say. Just regular old and humans. You'd be like, but they have these teleporters. They have capabilities that can rewind you in time. They have like weapons that can slow people down. They're killed by fire. Yep. You're like really, guys. Like you should. Don't you have? Why did? better things Dude, guns like the you so much them. like everything depends on you not failing from your perspective and you just yeah i guess you just expect people to comply and not shoot a bullet into you killed by fire it, <laughs> how do you fix the timeline when four or five of your cops get burned to death in a place like how do you fix it they put a thing down on the ground that resets the like the area i don't know how that yeah how possible. does that make did any they, sense did, did they cover the avengers tracks is that the logic the event how do the event? How do they know that what they did in Endgame could work? They didn't know what the Time Variance Authority was. How do they know that it because would they were supposed to do all those things, so the TVA never showed up? But why would the event? But the Avengers don't know that, you know. Well, like... the, uh, well, exa exactly. The Avenger. I mean, it's just it's just fortunate for the Avengers because the thing that they thought that they thought of, they were going to do no matter what. It's bad. So bad. I just picture that they're like, they would be so on the ball because they have access to all of time. They know how everything's supposed to go. They have devices that can slow and rewind time. These people should be unstoppable. And they should know everything when they, they walk into a scene, right? Like, they should see, mm -hmm. for example, Loki. They should literally have arrived and been like, ah, Loki, the god of mischief. And then he'd be like, confused and like, what the fuck's going on? And they should have like, full control over everything. They should know exactly what his powers are. That's another thing. They don't fucking recognize him, most of the people there. Like, there's some guy who's like, no. oh, you're the guy with the cube. Which, which is just because he yeah. saw him earlier. But nobody knows him. It's like, dude, he's like the son of Odin. Like, as powerful entities go, because uh, this is the they thing, don't you can't. about Inst Infinity Stones. They don't care who they he is. They don't even care about Infinity like, Stones, yeah. Why would Odin matter? Why would Asgard and Midgard and everything, the cosmos. Thanos spent Thanos. his whole life searching for stones that he could have just found in a desk. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. Because this is the thing, if you want to try and imply these people exist, like, beyond our existence, which is already going to be fucking annoying to accept. Um, they simultaneously, like, th don't even consider threats whatsoever, but they can be killed easily by someone lighting the ground on fire. Like, mm -hmm. it, do it doesn't seem to work for me. And then yeah. wouldn't just other people be like, oh, wow, in in 18-whatever, a bunch of our guys just walked in and got killed. We should probably rewind time and sort that out. Maybe we should go there, like, How a minute can earlier. Fail? Can we do that? Can we go a minute earlier? Yeah, I don't even know what their this? limits are with stuff like that. Or well, let's just go. Let's no just limits, go a day right? earlier and just have yeah. a stakeout and just see what happens. Yeah, I, it, this it should be impossible because if they fail, they'll just be like, "Oh, <laughs> all right, let's go a like, minute earlier." You have to understand, trying to defeat a time traveling team, and they all like it's. I don't think it's possible. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think it can. is possible. No. But if, they, if they they know what you're gonna do, and if and they have as many tries as possible, it's just you can't do it. It can't work. You can't have this story. Or at least not in the way that you've, you've presented it. I still don't get how you rewind people, but they don't... They only rewind, they like... They remember their memories and stuff, I even mean, though you're rewinding them. I guess as Rag said, it was like a teleporter? Like, it it remembers yeah, it, where you were and moves you back yeah, there. It, it doesn't have anything to do with time, necessarily. Yeah, it doesn't reset you, it resets your no. position, because you remember being reset. Which wouldn't have happened yeah. yet if for you to remember if you person. hadn't have been... You know, it's not even good security. Like, Loki could still kill Owen Wilson if he caught him off guard. Well, I yeah, mean, he could they have him no with cameras. A guest lamp or something. They have no cameras! 
You can just walk around and be in contact and... with infinity. What if that? What if he had taken all those infinity stones and hid them in his pocket and ran away? And went back well, to yeah the, the normal back, world. Yeah. Yeah, well, because this is the thing. They're like, oh, well, you can't use them, so ha-ha. It's like, so all he needs is someone who can open up one of those square teleport and things. Then and then he's good. It. And he's got all the Infinity yeah. Stones. And what happens if you have multiple Infinity Stones in the same timeline? Presumably what if that's snap impossible, right? What if he snaps away the TVA? Can he do yeah, that? Yeah, can he snap away the, the Infinity TVA? Stones, nah, they exist they power well, in the real world. Time space? I don't Even know. though the Infinity Stones control a f every fundamental aspect of existence, yeah, I guess well, they okay, exist well, beyond existence. I was gonna say, it's pretty <laughs> simple. They just, you know, you have existence and then you have the TVA. Yeah. They're just beyond existence, even though they exist beyond existence. It's a nice little, well, it doesn't make any sense It makes all. sense once you understand that there were several timelines and then three time lizards decided to make the sacred timeline. Decided to make That's yeah, what, I guess they have the power to do that. Have we? Have we How do the lizards this? have the power to... Oh, <laughs> what even are the talking oh, the time way, lizards? What are, we, what are the they? The writing basically just says that a long time ago, there was... A lot of multiverses, which we assumed scene. was how the cosmos worked. Um, but they had a big war because the, the multiverses fought over which multiverse would control everything, which is fucking stupid. What does but that apparently even mean? that's what happened. And so there just appeared these space lizards <laughs> who created a sacred timeline to make sure that everything only happens a certain way from now on so that there's not going to be a big war. Well, yeah. Let me uh, let me read to you the text as it shows up in uh, on screen. Uh, okay. So, dun dun dun. Long ago, there was a vast multiversal war. Countless unique timelines battled each other for supremacy, uh, nearly resulting in the total destruction of everything. Now, I don't know what that means. Timelines fighting and then consequently destroying all of them. I don't know what that means. I don't I guess... know what. Who were the belligerents? Timelines can fight, I guess. Yeah, timelines. Like, do the timelines fight, fight, or do the people in the timelines fight each other? I you know what I mean? Like, I... what what's fighting? The timelines start to battle. You'd be like, how? Yeah. And then, and then it says, but then the all-knowing timekeepers emerged from where? They were just always around, I guess. Why didn't they stop the war before it well, happened? It says, if they, were it all says they emerged. It says they emerged. That's why. I'm... What, where do they get their powers from? Where do they draw their powers from to control the timelines? Because it says they bring peace by wow, reorganizing free. the multiverse into one timeline. You want an explanation for everything. Did they have I mean, free I, will before I, the time well, lizards arrived? I guess they, I guess have they free did. Will. That almost makes time it worse. Time lizards like, destroyed free will. Yeah, like the time lizards yeah. decided, you know what? I'm kind of the best guy to decide what everyone should do. So I'm going to do that. Well, yeah. The time I lizards guess so. are basically dictators. They decide how everything in existence occurs. And you don't get to say anything, otherwise, you get melted. You yeah. You just get we vaporized. can't understate how casually they will fucking melt you. Like, dude, they casually melt him as casually as the Grandmaster melts that dude, and he's a bad guy. Yeah, he's a villain. <laughs> like a horrible yeah. person. Um, and yeah, so they created the Sacred Timeline, which is like Ooh, basically where wow. everything in the MCU takes place. The and, Timekeepers and protect... Oh, go ahead. Just, just to clarify, because someone, I, I know someone else is going to be like, what does it mean to be the Sacred Timeline? And it's like, so the only explanation we really get is that it's the way that things are supposed to properly be. Yes, yeah, so it's the way that the time. In... It's the way that the lizards say that things should be. Yeah, I think they actually use the word proper. Like, and it's just like you yes, fucking kidding me. Do. That's a meme word. Like, yeah, don't tell me it's the but... real one, the legitimate one, the proper yes. one. The timekeepers protect and preserve the proper flow of time. So basically, when Iron Man made the choice to fly the 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 bomb through uh, the the wormhole. That wasn't really his choice, because any time that he didn't do that, he was melted, and then they had to do it again. Yes. Uh, just, just to be clear, nuts. because this this is what is really breaking anything. Everything that has ever happened in the Marvel Cinematic Universe could not have ever happened any other way. No. No character ever made any choices. If for whatever reason, there was some kind of a deviation from the timeline, which as far as we know, can't even be possible in a lot of circumstances, then... Mm -hmm. They get captured by the TCA, they get vaporized, and then the timeline is reset so they could try again. Yeah. And this happens... We don't know if this has happened once, twice, no times, well, or a hundred million times. times. 
Well, yeah, that's, yeah, what, that's yeah, the thing. Between zero, one, infinity, like, we have no idea. <laughs> TCA, TVA, whatever, it doesn't matter. They're, they're T space yeah. Nazi fascist evil people. Yeah, so they can't protect like, the proper floor. That's the team we're on the side of, by the way. Yeah, I think that's what like kind of they're trying guys. to tell us, is that the TVA's the good guys, but I want them all to die. Well, here's, here's where we get our further explanation. Sometimes people like you veer off the path the timekeepers created. Uh, this, we call those variants, so that's what Loki is, because the Avengers fucked up. But Loki is the consequence if we can of the pause Avengers there. mistake. So it's like, how do they determine whose fault it is that a cube appeared in front of him and he picked it up? How is that well, his fault? Yeah. We don't it determine the fault. Avengers fault. Well, that's the thing is, we don't determine fault because he didn't even get a fair trial. They said, are you guilty <laughs> or not guilty? He said not guilty. They said, you're guilty. You're going to die. That it was, was a Why trial. waste time? Why, yeah, waste why even time bother? The trial thing? Why are you yeah. bothering? You've already made up whole... your mind. And it's well, not a show trial because you're not trying to convince anyone else that it's actually a trial. You're not going to let just... him exist. Yeah, and you can't. Yeah, like, you feel like what? it clearly isn't a bureaucracy thing either because nothing <laughs> happens, nothing's achieved. Yeah. They just declare him uh, guilty. And this, by the way, applies to the stupid fucking "Is this every word you've ever said? Please sign." By the way, if yeah. that was every word he's ever said, he's a fucking Asgardian. It'd be way bigger than that. Well, yes, yeah, he's, he's been, been around been, for a gajillion remember, years. Fifteen hundred years old. So we're Maybe the font is that, microscopic. Uh, well, we see that the font <laughs> well, is about 12 points. Yeah. About 12 point, we see that. It's like, one page is only about 300 words. If that was, So really, that, that thing should be like a library You know what would have been size. way also, more... Also, they have the ability to monitor and record these things. What would yeah. have been a way more Loki thing to do would just be fuck with the machine, keep talking, and just being like... Mm -hmm. Do you, yes. you know, do you think you can outlast me? And the idea that it's like, please sign this, like, that's like one of the most basic things everyone ever knows is don't fucking sign random shit. Let's just, like, you Yeah, have it's no... like, no, I can't verify this. Why go through this charade? I don't know. Who is it well, for? there's also no way that the real Loki would put up with any of that shit. Nope. Not... And he wouldn't be incompetent enough to have been captured. It actually would have been cool if they had, like, attacked him, and it was the illusion in the opening. And he's already gone. Well, he didn't like strong, independent women yeah, beating well. the shit out of Loki and dragging him to the. I already knew it was going to happen. The like, time yeah, she's D &D gonna place. I think they just wanted to distract us with like he just thought that she was harmless, and now look, he's been out outmatched. I'm like, yeah, okay. Even though he's a god. Well, okay, this is the thing. Teleport. It's so entirely based on whether or not the plot wants him to do anything, because he just fucking beats her later, and we were all so surprised. We're like, whoa, he's been allowed to shocked. defeat her. I was like. Yeah, I was like, this is unprecedented in the MCU. This black woman just lost to a white male, and that's kind of, like, act, like actually shocked me. It's like, this oh. isn't right. Someone fucked up. Someone got back. fired over that blunder. <laughs> um, there was, the next line was, maybe you started an uprising or were just late for work. So, you can be late for work and then get turned into flume. You know, that's, um, possibly one of the most damaging clarifications in the entire episode. Yeah. They probably thought it was they funny. They never should have done that. Because they now they've, that. they've let us know that even the most micro of choices in your life can lead you to be melted. Yeah, you well, yeah, get because... executed by the TVA if you're late to work and you weren't supposed to be late yeah. to work. Tilda Swinton was wrong. Removing the stones from the timeline is irrelevant. It's yeah. just... It could be very minimal, trivial well, choices that you made that you'll get paid a visit by these guys and melted. You can argue she's wrong twice over because tiny events can get you melted, but also taking the stones doesn't get you melted if you were supposed no. to do it. Yeah, because the Avengers took them and that was okay because you were they were supposed to. They yeah, get for, a pass, but for anyone doesn't. listening who's confused, like at one point they basically he says like it was the Avengers that fucked everything up, and then she he was like, nah, the Avengers did what we wanted them to do. That's fine. Except yeah. you were just the, mm -hmm. so it was fine for them to fuck with reality. <laughs> yeah, that was totally cool. <laughs> yeah, um, it was fine for them to do all of that, but Loki literally gets the Tesseract at his feet and he does the thing that Loki would do. Yeah, well, he should have known better. He should have known better. And they knew that he would have done that because they knew that that was a possible. And again, Doctor Strange, he looked at futures. I don't know. Like, I guess he saw this. He knows what the TBA are. I guess. Yeah. But anyway, it continues. Whatever it was, stepping off your path created a nexus event. So it doesn't. It's not. It's not stones. That doesn't really matter. And apparently, if it uh, if it's unchecked, it could branch off into madness. Oh, leading oh. to another multiverse war. Oh, in oh, that cute, boy. 
Um, but don't worry, to make sure that doesn't happen, the Timekeepers created the TVA and all its incredible workers. I, so, to, I, <laughs> to clarify, but, if they created them, and they, they are outside of time and space and reality and everything, why are they so shit? It's like, you yeah. had infinite ability, because of course they are pretty powerful, but like, why aren't they just the most efficient creatures in the- Yeah, like, it should all just be perfect. Why isn't it perfect? You have infinite resources. Yep. Why aren't you bulletproof and like, why do they make you susceptible to being burned by fire? Um, but, but anyway, the t Oh, yeah? Oh, just reasons. That's why. Reasons. Yeah. That's so well, so that they can have yeah. conflict and drama. That's the reason why they don't. Oh, and then the TVA has stepped in to fix your mistake and set time back on its predetermined path. Yay! Predetermined. Everything. This is. Yeah. This is not a just just a thing. If anyone tells you, oh, the MCU shit because it makes everything deterministic. No, 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 no. It's even worse. Worse than yeah. determinism. <laughs> it's predeterminism. It's pre Mystic. Yep. And, and so, it's and this is the thing. By these lizard people. If, if by some stroke of luck, uh, <laughs> this show actually dismantles all of this and they let the timeline run its own way by the end, it's too late. You've already fucked all of the too films late. that came yes. before. It's everything that's come before, yeah. Yep. There's no fixing this. Um, and yeah, they say that it leaves you without a place on the timeline and now you have to stand trial for your crimes. His crime. For your offenses, it, yeah. It, he didn't like, even wow, ask what his charge was. Uh, no. no. Oh, and that's another just standard shitty writing. He basically does a show of like, you think you can get me? <laughs> well, I'm the god of mischief. Wang. Oh, what? My powers aren't working. It's like you know oh, this. No. You would have known this already. Like, <laughs> it's been ages. You would have tried to do this a bunch of times before. <laughs> but it's yeah, so kind of like the stuff with the tesseract where he's like, of course I tried. I tried everything. Nothing works here. And it's like, yeah, you, you didn't get that before all right mm. cool well no, the, the funny part is it's not over he knows that he has to get into one of those uh, square teleport things like rectangles that's that would be his goal he has to get through one of them and then he's safe because he can go anywhere he wants doors from star trek yeah i can't believe they just casually have them and like i'm already i think i said it when it happened i was like this is going to be significant going forward you can just spawn teleport it's just like dr strange's teleporters but they can do it with like tech this isn't limited to a mm -hmm. sorcerer. Yeah, it's there's just... no magic. And it's, you understand that's probably one of your best weapons, but well, it's, it, they never think it about is that shit. It's as powerful as the space stone because the space stone can get you anywhere you want. Exactly, but the, time, the TVA can just do it. Painful that they casually show this shit. And you know what? I'm I'm under uh, under exaggerating. They can go anywhere in time and space. And space, yeah, it's both. It's insane. And like, what it, what even is the nature of the this facility? Remember the guy is like, I've been behind a desk my whole life. I don't know what a fish is. Yeah, like... <laughs> even though he's been watching have... time go by him. Yeah, like, how do you time? observe yeah. all of the history of the universe and you end up less educated? Do you I think that you would be an a fish is? Everybody would be shockingly intelligent. They would yeah. be different people. They'd be people. clinical, they'd be a spark. Yeah, they would be the kind of people you speak to and they, you wouldn't it wouldn't be familiar because they've got a different perception of just everything. Is but they have to have comedic so, relief. This is gonna be an obscure as fuck reference, but fucking you, twenty pooch points in the chat if you if you know about it. But you guys remember the first level of Obsidian? You guys know Obsidian, the the game. Game company. No, no, no. We're going way back to 1997. Obsidian. Obsidian was developed by Rocket Science Games. I don't even know if they're still around. By the way, Thomas Dolby did the uh, he did the music for Obsidian. So check that out. Um, five pooch points if you know who Thomas Dolby is. But uh, for those of you who know, all those robots with the uh, with the, the little mechanical arms and the their faces were video screens that were just a mouth that would move, and they had all of these little bureau bureaucratic um, kinds of stands and lobbies and things uh that 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 should have been the tva um so yeah, someone, someone just said the guy spent his life behind the desk he wasn't watching movies about the universe you don't want that to be the case you don't want that to be the case because it brings up so many other questions if he's just a normal person he would have lost his fucking mind by now yeah. and that makes you think wait are they not humans there or are they slaves what are they do they have free will adventure game you probably not 
obsidian. I guess what they a, don't what have a when you're paranoid. I don't. How could you not know what fish are? Fish were like the first things on Earth. Well, I, I don't. Know, maybe the what first exactly? A lot of places. What exactly was his education? Just English. In which so case, was he a baby? A was he ever a no, child? No, it doesn't or make sense. Has... It doesn't matter what he is. It doesn't make sense, chat. Have the, has everybody <laughs> always been an adult in the TVA, or were they? Did they I, I like up? this. He's clearly not a normal human. It's like, thank you so much. Like, yes, just... we know because normal humans know what fish are. <laughs> normal humans don't have control really? over time and space. Please, please, please hasn't don't... been sitting at a desk watching the evolution of every planet in the fucking universe. And guess what? There's fish in the fucking universe. So you're telling me that he never well, saw one once? <laughs> what Give is me a his break. job that he sits at the desk and what files papers? And just, <laughs> like, yeah, what and are puts you suggesting? Infinity stones on his paperwork. He collects what paperwork does he stones. do? <laughs> now I'm starting to wonder, like, what, what could his job be that wouldn't just be done by a robot? And then is he a robot? Fucking, I don't even know. I don't know do what the fuck's going on. But they're not human. Listen, I'm about to get upset at the stupidity. It's in chat right now. <laughs> It doesn't matter if he's human. That doesn't mean anything. How can he not know what a fish is, considering where he works and what he does? It doesn't matter if he's human, or if he's uh, an Asgardian, or if he's from Space Themyscira, lizard. or if he's French. It doesn't matter. He's gonna know what a fish is. Yeah, it's, it's just one of these little, ha ha ha, he knows all the fish, isn't that funny? But it doesn't make sense. He sits by the desk checking people fish. in, you see? So why would he know what a fish is? I fucking hate this shit. Mm -hmm. Well. I... <sighs> Everything that ever matters... I... What? Well, yeah, I mean, I didn't think it would be this nope. bad. Nope. <laughs> we'll find a way. <laughs> no, let's find a way. Think... They'll find a way. What did you guys way? think of uh, Loki watching... Uh, his life flashed by as he sat there crying. So oh, this is there's a there's a complaint. This is season ender shit. We 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 well I was gonna say before that right. So this is problem that we have where Infinity War was kind of neat. We all kind of liked that. It was fun. Thumbs up. And one of the things they do in Infinity War that was like oh that was that was really neat is they killed some characters in events that were outside of the stones. So or rather outside of the snap. So we all assume those are the guys that stayed dead. Those are the ones yep. that we actually lose, meaning that the stakes of Infinity War still remain, even if the snap is undone, to some degree. Mm -hmm. Now, we got um, Vision got repaired, and his memories were re-infused after having been lost, because Scarlet Witch Im imagined, uh, you know, you guys saw it, whatever. So Vision mm -hmm. is potentially like one movie away from being back. So it's like, damn, okay. Um, Gamora. Is of course been killed, but a, an alternate universe with Gamora is currently on the Guardian ship. So hopefully, I guess the TV. I don't give a shit about her. No, that's 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 all part of the plan for you. Well, I guess well, I don't give a shit about plan. Thanos either. That's all part of the plan. Oh yeah, Thanos right, yeah, was part, yeah, of the part, plan. part of the plan. Part of the plan. Yeah, it's part of the plan. Which <laughs> is it's the ultimate <laughs> hand wave. It's the it, this is oh, literally he works man, in mysterious ways. Enough. It literally is that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's one to one this time. <laughs> it's like, well, how come? Why did the TVA allow so, th these you know, the, half the universe to get snapped and then re-snapped and then all this stuff to happen? Because the TVA works in mysterious ways. Yeah, it's kind of like the Eternals that just sat by, even though they helped civilizations build. This is worse build. than <laughs> They <that>. just slept. <laughs> Who's more powerful, the Eternals or the TVA? It's gotta be these the guys. TVA. Yeah, because they exist it has to be beyond these guys. space and time. <laughs> I don't fucking... Anyway, the thing I was trying to say was, I'm worried that in Guardians 3, I'm, I'm pretty sure James Gunn will do better than this, but I if they reset Gamora... Too. And you know, and you might be thinking to yourself, like, well, how 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 would they do that so quickly? And it's like, well, you know, I'm gonna go hypothetical here. Imagine a character was killed and then taken to this this area from a different dimension, where he watches his whole life from that alternate timeline, and thus gets a jog of his memory of exactly what his arc was to go back to being the character we all knew before he died. Imagine if they did that. Though. That would be crazy if they did that. Yeah, It'd be nuts, cause you'd be do, nuts. You do that in like two minutes in the first fucking episode, and you have him tear up while he watches what are actually meaningful scenes based on arcs, and you just have him arc in like what is essentially previously on Loki's life. Mm hmm. Like actually embarrassing learned, and frustrating. In, ep in one episode, we learn Loki never really wanted to hurt people. He's nope. just, you know, he's complicated. Um, 
but he didn't need to go on an arc to learn that. He needed to go to the TVA and spend half an hour in a waiting room. Not only that, to Owen he Wilson. admits that he's weak and he only does it to yep. appear strong to other people. Loki yeah. admit this isn't even the show saying that, it's Loki saying it about himself. So fucked In the first up. episode. Yep. Loki's motivation yeah. was really damn strong, and it's funny because he was the first of the villains of the MCU where people were like, this one's not so bad though, Loki's pretty good. Yeah, and he was pretty good. Yeah, he was. Um, was being the operative word. Because now he's fucked. <laughs> like, yeah. Not to mention, because like, this is the thing about Thor 2, um, th this film basically lays out like one of the positives of Thor 2, it's like, you you want kind of a bit of vengeance on your brother, and you send the dark elves to him, but you get your mum killed, and that sets you on a journey, as among other things, that uh, get you to be a good guy. Just FYI, and he's like, oh, and then he watches himself die, and he's like, oh man, this is all really it's sad. It's weird because Loki, the clever, actual, real Loki, not this bizarro world Loki, should have said, but I couldn't have not done that. You told me that I had to have done that, so it's your fault. It's the Time Lord's fault. It's the Time Lizard's and fault that that happened, because they made me do that. You know I didn't what? have a choice. Um, How can you punish me for that? I'm gonna gonna praise Endgame here. You ready, Fringy? You ready? I'm gonna do this. Oh my god. Praise Endgame. Yeah. Praise. So they try and do this with uh, Nebula. They give her what she needs yes. to know to arc her, but it's too quick, and so she doesn't arc. Yeah, it, it, and like, then she, she, it's how humans she work. Just because, like, you say it took you 10 years to argue someone from position X to Y, and you know what the, the main argument that you won them over was, and you go back 10 years and tell them that, it's not going to just work. It probably won't work. You remember how in South Park, a comedy show that plays hard and fast with, like, a lot of stuff, had an episode where Cartman, a future Cartman, comes back in time and tells him, this is where you turn it around. You stop eating junk food, you know, you work hard in class, you stay away from drugs, and you become the CEO of your own company. And then Cartman immediately dismisses the idea and does the opposite of that. Yep. That's what people do. That's what people would do. Yeah, it's just a South good Park payoff. South has a much in, better um... understanding of character. It's a good payoff in Endgame, because it, yes. I, it's like, uh, Nebula's not, just, it, she can't, it's like, it's too quick, it's she not gonna happen, no. and she fears Thanos too much at that point. Yeah. And so she doesn't, and she's Nebula. still a threat. But now, but Loki, this is the thing, Loki should just reject all this shit, he has to live it. He can't just watch it, he doesn't even know if that shit's real. Yeah, it could, he even says you know, that this is all an illusion. Yep. He does. Well, I've seen people in chat really saying, like, well. are any of these things even problems if it turns out it's in, like, some kind of machine by the end of this season and someone's fucking with him? I mean, if we're gonna go brain in a vat, we could, but we don't but have any... But we're giving the show more credit than that. Yeah, let's just say, if if they do turn out to be that, this is all assuming that's not the case. Fucking hell, I hope but they don't also, do that. it's like, Loki's not even really a character. He's just a plot device that's moving from thing to thing. We it's don't a ping -pong really get to... ball. Aside from him sitting there and crying, like... He doesn't really have any character development. Like, when you go and watch Back to the Future, it's a fish-out-of-water situation with Marty McFly, right? But we're watching everything from his point of view, so we're seeing this whole new world through his eyes. This is just Loki getting pushed from room to room, making cheesy, ridiculous comments that would never come out of Loki's mouth. Yeah, or while, while getting appropriate ones that they just ignore. And several speeches oh, about the, all the exposition, because this is entirely fucking, like, nonsense. <laughs> New Gamora mm -hmm. is the same as old Gamora, pretty much. Please stop. No, she's a new person. Please stop. This is one of my issues with this character, is that they hit the reset button with her. That was well, it. They're going now, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, this, the new Gamora is not the old one. They're two different people. Very, very yeah. different. If you watch Guardians 1 and 2, it took a while to get Gamora from where she was to where she ended up. Yep. And she's oh, dead, God. and she got that. That character got not even like reset. It's a new version of this character yeah. that's been put in her place. Same actress and same voice, but a different person. Different person. She's not yeah. a new person. What are you? Biologically, it's probably the same person. <laughs> same but genes. Mentally, but mentally, <laughs> she is not the same person. Uh, that she yeah, like, she I, I feel, I feel kind of like. She doesn't have any of those experiences. Feeling a bit Come of pity on. right now. I'm like, oh, you think she's the same because she looks the same? Damn. Wow, Man, yeah. Like that's... <laughs> Dude. I mean, it's just look at your own life. You're not the same person you were last year. There's some shit has happened in this past year that makes all of us different people. Doesn't mean we don't have the same qualities, but we're all different because we've all evolved over the year. You are you your know? memories. 
Think about it That's, like that. Yeah. You are your memories. Mm -hmm. and, she, and 2014, Gamora has four years of missing memories. Yeah, you can't understate that shit. And getting to- Like, if you guys were just teleported to ten years from now, and there's these five guys who are like, we're best friends, we, we had a band, we made like a whole TV show, you'd just be like, uh, yeah, that's great. Um... <laughs> and I didn't do that. I don't, I don't know who the fuck you guys are. And you know, they go, well, you'll watch this movie, and you just watch a documentary of you doing all the stuff with them, you're like, yeah, that's not me. That's some other guy. I mean, it's even like right now, if we all watch like baby videos of us, it's like, oh, look, that's me as a baby. Do we remember that? Probably not, because we're a freaking baby. Mm -hmm. I can't believe people are trying to argue against this point. Like, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. You're just well, completely wrong. This is already foregone. Like, the point I was trying to make was I hate the fact that they've killed these characters and they're just resetting them back to where Bringing they were. Bringing them back. Yep, no stakes. The only person who stayed dead was Heimdall. We're not even sure that's the case. And, wow, well, yeah, maybe they'll get Idris Elba back. Yeah, Vision confirmed for us that no one's ever really gone. No one's ever really gone, no. Mm. It's awful, guys. <laughs> Did you guys just, like the I... line from Loki? I am smart. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's what you love to hear from characters you do think are intelligent. It's like Loki may as well have said to Owen Wilson, I have I have surpassed you intellectually. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that reference. It's, uh, uh, it's pure cringe. Um, and yeah, I guess the the uh, the stinger is that there's a there's a rogue variant person who is also Loki. It's a it's a multiverse Loki, who's fucking things Lady up. Lady Loki. How much she shows him up. She'll probably beat his ass in every episode until oh, the yeah. end when something and when, happens and they become friends and go and fight the ultimate yeah, evil. Yeah, whatever will be terrible something. thing she does, Mephisto or whatever they're going to be justified. It's going to be totally okay. Um, she's going to be proven right all along. Um, you know how it goes. Y'all are uh, seriously though. Y'all are forgetting uh, what, that Loki uh, is the god of mischief. Why are you assuming everything he said was honest and sincere? <laughs> You didn't watch the episode, did you? Did you watch? Yeah, did you watch the episode? <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, um, it's funny. A lot of the stuff we've referenced. Sat there <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say a lot of the stuff we've referenced isn't even when other people are in the room. So I don't even know, like, what what are we dealing with here? Like, yeah, is he acting for nobody? He's gonna, no, he's trying to. He's he's gone so meta as the god of mystery. <laughs> he's trying to trick himself. Trying to fool himself. He knows that he's in a TV show. Yeah. yeah. Serious. Oh, by the way, like I gotta say, it's becoming pretty transparent. Like what the Marvel formula is: teasers constantly to make sure that you come back for the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. Yep. There's always a tease. You never get all of your answers, uh, except in the ways that you didn't want. Like in terms of character and stuff, there'll be teasers of, oh, devil, oh, is that Mephisto? Oh, there's yeah. Lady Loki and there in the little hood. I don't know about you guys, chat, but can we skip the arc of you saying that it's a good show and then? You saying okay? It is kind of bad. Can we get to the latter half? I don't Can want to do that again. Can we get that, please? Yeah, because <laughs> I'm bored of having to do it every single time. This is like this one is already bad. It's really bad. <clears throat> no, it wasn't Loki. That was some lame guy. No, that was a clone. From he was the, e, the e Lock or E Call. <laughs> e Coli. It's bizarro Loki. I am E Call and I am evil. <laughs> Uh, so disappointing. Yep. From where like this all started, this could have been so good, and instead it's this. Falcon well, and the Winter just... Soldier made me angry, and now I, I just I feel empty. I'm yeah, feel pretty is... despondent. Yeah, I've, definitely I've apathy just for me. that this is the fate of the MCU, and it's gone, and it's over. And like that's why I started off with the Owen thing. I'm like, well. That was fun while it lasted, but it's it's gone now. It's it's it is actually dead. This is mm. this is why it's a one out of ten. This is it's crisis like, on infinite Earth levels of nonsense. If they have like nothing matters like, anymore, you know. Oh, will will Tom Holland Spider Man be able to defeat you know Raimi Green Goblin? Well, I was like, I don't know. I guess I'll have to ask the lizard Couldn't people if they're okay with way. it. Um, Lady Loki <laughs> is a thing in the comics. I know that. I'm not. Do you not? So what know. I was Lady saying, Lady Loki's a thing in the real lore. So, yeah, so what I'm saying is that the issue that I see with what's happening with the MCU now, and it's especially clear with the shows, is it's all about teasing you. 
It's all about what's next rather than what's here right now. They will expeditiously go through all of the character development, the, the meaningful stuff, but they'll always be teasing you. There's always something around the corner. The story's never over. There's always something coming up. Because of the end, you know, every episode of WandaVision, there were like teasers and people went off the rails with their rumors and it's happening with like Spider-Man. It's probably going to happen we got this the ending. Well. Yeah, oh, Mephesto. Oh, who's that in the shadows? Oh, that's probably Lady Loki because you can pull from all this comic material. It could be so many things from the comics. So it's easy to just yeah. get at to be the machine that keeps things going because people will never be satisfied because you never wrap things up. You just always tease so that people keep coming back. And they they like, do it in the movies now as well. Perpetually chasing the dragon and they're not even looking yeah. at the current payoffs. Yeah. And right now we need somebody to turn it off for the audience who are Randy to say, no, no, I said, turn it back on. <laughs> Like, you just need to have that moment to see how far we've all fallen. Well, our job is the South Park fucking reference to Red Dragon, where we, we show a screenshot yeah. from the show and go, Do you see? This is a problem. Do you see? <laughs> this, yeah. is, this doesn't make sense. Do you see? Look! Look at the things I've seen! <laughs> like, basically. <laughs> you see the desk filled with infinity stones. Do you see? <laughs> you Do you see? To... <laughs> yeah. We must acknowledge that you see it. Oh, but it's funny, though. Even though none of us laughed at anything. We never laughed a single time during the, sing the, during the episode. We didn't laugh. I didn't even crack a smile. I was no, just getting frustrated. I didn't smile. <laughs> to be fair. I mean, if I did, it was like someone in a straight jacket in a padded room would smile, maybe. But not <laughs> yeah. an actual smile. Dude, the second they said they detected a time <coughs> anomaly and brought him back, I was already like, my brain was racing. I was like, this has destroyed everything already, hasn't it? Yeah. Yep. What exactly? Like, how are time anomalies detected? Did the lizard people put their brains inside machines to tell you when they think that something is happening that they think shouldn't happen? And in which case, that means they know that everything's already happened. So how do even anomalies so why happen? Why don't they do it? Why don't they do it? Like, how do anomalies yeah, happen? Yeah, how do anomalies happen? Reasons. I don't understand how they could. Is that, don't ask is, questions, just consume. Because of reasons. Well, yeah, every... Because every... It, I mean, it's exactly that, because, yeah, every time that you ask a question, they lampshade you, and then just move on. Like, lol, it's kind of funny, huh, lizards? Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> TV, TV like, they, they're they're known... going to destroy everything about the cinematic universe that they've crafted, and they're going to do it as a joke. Yep. And, and they don't even recognize what they're doing. From what we gather from, like, that last bit, it seemed to me that... Say, for example, you're just a time traveler in the year 3000, just having a fuck around. You go, you know what, I'm going to go back in time and kill Hitler. And you go back in time, that creates an anomaly, and then they get teleported to you and try to stop you and then melt you, I guess. It's like, but how does that make sense? How wouldn't that have always been something that happened? They are scanning from loads of different timelines. I just don't get... How is there linearity for them? That's my question. Yeah, I don't understand how that could work at all. Yeah. It's like, oh no, I mean, that, that guy from the year... Everything already mapped out. Wouldn't yeah. they yeah. know when everything is happening so that way they can just fix it immediately? It's like that guy from the, the year 3000 just went back 2000 years yeah. or something. And it's like, wait, but that guy just went back from the year 1000 to 500. And it's like, that guy went from 50,000 to 45,000. It's like, so which one do we deal with first? And which one came to well, us that, first? Oh, yeah, it's and weird that, what anomalies that they allow because they allow him to have a bomb on a plane, but then they yeah. don't allow him to appear randomly well, in the Gobi Desert with a Tesseract. And they allowed like, Gamora. That's bad. Gamora is allowed. <laughs> yeah. Nebula from 2014 is allowed. Thanos is allowed. His whole army is Literally, allowed. They don't do anything about it. They talk about the timelines fighting each other. We have timelines now with people from different timelines having been put in. Existing in one timeline. And remember what they said, the longer those people exist, the longer, the more likely it is that the timelines will continue to converge and break. So, like, the 2014 that Thanos came from is broken. That timeline is broken. And you can't fix it by unless you kill Gamora. But they won't. And, and I don't even see how that would fix it. No. Like, the issue would still exist. You would need to recreate Thanos in that timeline. But then it's like, what happens? Does that timeline merge? I don't see how it could. The events have clearly been changed. It, it doesn't work. It can't function. It's, it's completely and utterly broken. It's, Look it, at this in the chat. How are we being hyperbolic? Did you not watch the episode? <laughs> Wait, like, who, I, who yeah, said it? We, that, there's a reason why we're giving this a 1 out of 10. It can't get lower than this. If it was lower than this, it wouldn't be a 
story. I don't see how it, it would be function what it is. as a story. I feel like yeah, we have to remind that, people like, every time, like, this isn't about how much we enjoyed it. That's not the point. When no, we're which we didn't. We didn't. Which but... we didn't. Yeah, I didn't enjoy it. But Those like, are there relevant. are aspects of it that are neat. Well, I mean, and it's if, if you're going to get on nitpicking, we haven't even started. If you really want to nitpick, it's like, okay, why does the time place look like a DMV? Why is there one random guy complaining that just gets vaporized? Because that's what the time lizards yeah. wanted it to look like. I know, it's like, why? <laughs> See, time that's lizards a nitpick. Time hands of the 1960s human American Earth. Yeah. I guess they knew that the 1960s Earth would be like a thing from when they created the TV. Yeah, and they liked it a lot, you know? Out, just, out of all it, yeah. of the different places you could make, why yeah, would you make cosmos, one that you didn't yeah. need a green screen for? Again, uh, hmm, I wonder have, why. If they have infinite like, like resources, they shouldn't even be like. I don't even. I'm starting to question whether or not they should even be human, humanoid. Why well, would they, you make they them humanoid? Yeah. Why wouldn't they just could... be giant like balls that can just fly anywhere and do anything? Yeah, yeah, like, like we can't even fair, comprehend part. their control of time and space. Like we would just be like, "What to is this?" To be fair, they they had um, short person. They had a robot. They had a whammon of the color. Robot was shit. And, also, yeah, that yeah. that's such a minor a percentage. And a short person is all negatives, though, in terms of like utility based. Well, everyone's got to have a job, the right? Checklist so. that they have to make. So well, yeah, uh, like, in Hollywood, it's a good, it's a, a plus. Digit. Well, like I, I just don't it's get just, how the majority of people are just you know the standard like 60s american Americans, too like why yeah. why are they all american why why are they human beings was my first question but even if they were human beings why are they all from like the united states one country because we're great <laughs> we're so great the time lizards were like you know what this is it i like you guys and also <laughs> oh, I, I, you, you, I reminded me of something i just forgot about it briefly but um they mentioned that a time like, the Time Variance Authority mentioned, I think in the last scene when they go to Lady Loki, like, they mention a time machine, and it's like, oh, is it common that people just create time machines? Because as far as I understood, <sighs> Tony was yes. the first person Didn't to do Yes, didn't you it. watch Napoleon Dynamite with the crystals? I did. It's very did... common to buy, uh, time machines on eBay. Well, I, I, that I time machine was, first... was okay. The lizard said that that time machine was fine, but I guess you <laughs> did something with a time machine the lizards didn't approve of. If you're late for work, they kill you. I'm still not over that. <laughs> yeah, you get, yeah, you just get some, they execute you. Because here's my question. If you're late for work, why would that create a deviation in the timeline? Why would that not just be what happened? Mm -hmm. I'm it's writing that down absurd. to my notes. And, you know, yeah. there's some people in chat who are like, are you seriously suggesting this is worse than Batwoman? I'm like, guys, Batwoman yeah. doesn't yes, fuck with is. time and space, typically. <laughs> Say Batwoman is at least like funny at how bad it is. This, it's like they really try to push jokes and it just falls flat. Like, there was nothing really entertaining about this episode. We have because they made a joke about destroying the MCU, and like, I'm not okay with that. And if you are, then fuck off. <laughs> why, why do they get to do it? Why do they get these projects? It's not fair. Never been fair. This is well. This is you know, that, that tweet Jay made earlier that was really good? Th this is, it's like he has incredible predictive power. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, but for reference, in terms of the, the team, the, the the writer of this show wrote the the toilet episode in Rick and Morty season four, and he is writing uh, Doctor Strange 2. So. God. And after this show is over, he'll probably get a giant, massive, multi fucking TV show deal with Disney as well. Just yeah, like because you'll be set now. These, all these things will make a shit ton of money. Dude, it happened for each of them. The writer for WandaVision got a big, like, two TV show development deal. The guy who wrote uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier is writing Captain America 4. And this guy's already written Doctor Strange. And he'll get, like, multiple seasons of this show. Because it's already been renewed for season two. And probably a bunch of other projects too. And it will keep happening for all of the other ones as well because they can't fail. It's too big to fail. It's because the, it, the real it's, lizard people in the real the world. Goldman's that's how the, the yeah, real the lizard people. Industry. <laughs> they would allow them to not make money. They'll, they'll be variants otherwise. <laughs> Jesus. It's all. It's, it's ruined. It's all ruined. Yeah, and the people ruined. who ruined it are going to get big bonuses in all the shows that they could ever ask for. And. It doesn't they matter because do... people clap like seals at this shit and they eat it up and they say, oh, thing. look, there's a funny cartoon and that's okay. Even if it just destroys fucking everything about the universe, it's fine. They so just want to do their funny. own thing. That's what's happened. The creators yes. want to do their own thing. And then you got people 
certain people who just think that's good intrinsically, that you can do whatever you want in a universe that you didn't create that needs to exist in tandem with other people's work. I'm sorry, you don't get to do whatever you want. If you want to do whatever you want, you don't get to make shows in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You make your own show. It's just a fundamental contradiction. You want to use what they created, right? And I'm, I'm not even referring to their motivation as a writer. I'm talking about, like, their stories. Like, Loki, who's that? It's like, well, if you watch the other movies, you'll know. All that reference to all of his history and all of his characters. Like, you can't use all of that and then also piss on all of it. Like, yeah, you can't, <laughs> it doesn't make sense. You gotta pick one. Do something new or work with the material that's already there. And I don't, I don't think that there is enough value in, hey, look, that set's really cool. Um, no. There is not so much value in that that I'm willing to compromise on the entire fucking thing, like the whole MCU, just for something that looks kind of neat. But I feel like that's, that is the modus operandi going forward in terms of, like, Marvel content is, oh, hey, see Black Widow, it's like, oh, that's like Winter Soldier, you guys like that, right? Espionage, ooh, far, you know. And then, oh, but like Shang-Chi, that's like a Jack Chan movie. Ooh, you like that. Eternals, it's like, oh, they saw their natural location. Wow. It's like, ooh, this kind of indie. Ooh. And oh, then wow, Doctor they went Strange. to a beach. Ooh. Like, yeah. It's like a horror movie. Ooh, isn't that neat? Thor, I don't know what they could do with Thor. It's like an 80s movie. Isn't that neat? And it's like, that's, that's the shtick. You have the money to really do a specific niche thing well visually. Like, and and then you get points for that. Like, as if there's anything particularly special about doing the six... I mean, like, the game controlled it, that, like, 60s aesthetic. Except from what I understand, it was purposeful. But that doesn't earn you points. All that earns you points was doing it. Not that it was purposeful or meaningful. It's really frustrating. It's so hollow and cheap. Do you expect anything less from Disney now? <sighs> You know, they're like... creatively bankrupt they literally have this mountain of source material that they could be making an unlimited amount of shows from that actually does have you know thought out plots characters and do they utilize any of it not really they take the flashy stuff but then they don't even focus on writing it and then they get inexperienced people to write their tv shows i mean this whole th you would think if your entire show revolves around stuff with a timeline you would go and do research on to making sure that there is no plot holes for this so that way it actually works and there's an intelligent point to be That's made fun, with the story you're trying to tell do they do Why that are you so oppressive no. Well, I guess that's 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 the weird uh, thing, isn't it? Is this is your life? Like you spent a year of your life on this, but it feels like you didn't talk, you didn't have these conversations. I guess I don't understand. How I feel that like happens. they're just told to make it, like just just make it and make it look oh, cool. And I that's mean, you're, what you're right. You are right about that. Like none of these shows start with an original pitch. The the, the process for these projects is, oh, um, we want Doctor Strange to get on it. Like, that's, that's what it is. Oh, we want a Loki show. Get on it. There isn't a process of, hey, so why don't we get some people in and they can tell us what their ideas are and whichever one's the coolest and most interesting, we'll run with that. The project comes before the idea for the story. And that's not a good, reliable way to tell stories. I think it's just the ones that we got seemingly were flukes. I, I don't know. It feels that, well, the it MC was better than this, though. It was better than this. Like, fucking oh, yeah. Iron Man 3. You know, I'd prefer Iron Man 3. Like, oh, can we yeah. please just go back to that? <laughs> Dude, I, I never thought I'd be in the position of, can we please go back to just assassinating characters? <laughs> yeah. Instead of doing that and destroying the world, too. Just, well, destroying the entire continuity. Cosmos. Mm hmm. Um, Everything that ever was and ever will be, and that is, it's all fucked. Yep. This is a nightmare realm. The MCU has turned into a nightmare realm. I mean, well, there's I mean, literally no consequences for anything. Somebody dies, oh, guess what? We're going to bring them back. Well, it, yeah, it's going to so, take away from the impact of their death. So, oh, we fucked up with the timeline? Okay, well, we're just going to go through this door and redo the timeline. Oh, we don't like mm -hmm. you, so you're not okay. Oh, it's totally fine for Tony and Steve to go fuck with the timeline all they want, but nope, not for you, because we don't like you because you're the bad lizards. guy. Well, yeah, picture um, mm -hmm. the... And I'm not referencing this to for any other reason than I'm just, it's just the first thing that came to my head, right? So the Winter Soldier and Cap knife fight. If at any point Winter Soldier buried that knife into Cap's skull, 
they'd have to pull him out of the timeline and be like, you're a variant, motherfucker, you just cheated, that's not what's supposed to happen, bye bye and then melt him, and you're just like... And they how reset can... it and they try it again. Like, like how, how can I ever director. be invested in any of this? It's only happening because the lizard people approved of it. <sighs> Why did you do this? <laughs> what? Why? You didn't have to do this. No one... You, you didn't have to do this, but you did. This, that was their crate. Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, don't be late to work. Yeah, don't be late to work or we'll melt you. Because, like, it all comes back to the same thing. Because they would know that that guy's going to be late to yeah. work. It they doesn't make know. any sense. And that guy would be able to know because he's in the the time, whatever the fuck they're called. And so he can see that he's going to be late for work tomorrow. They can see into the past, present, and future. They know everything. They're all knowing. They, they already know that they're going to get Loki. They know what Loki's going to do. So all of this doesn't make any fucking like, sense. How is it even possible for there to be a variation in the timeline if you know everything that's going to happen? And there's got to be an origin point, right? Like, why did yeah. it why did it vary? And you go, because um, unless they were about to make a point about, like, well, you know, free will sometimes breaks out and sometimes people actually manage to oh, make yeah, a sometimes. choice. A meaningful, like, I hope they don't go that direction, because holy fuck, that just ruins everything. But then again, the man who's late to work, why was he late to work? He slept in, why did he sleep in? And it's like, his alarm didn't go off, why didn't his alarm go off? Like, there has to be, like, what they'd happened in your in timeline. And they'd fix the alarm clock, That's what know? I'm saying, That's it's like, there do. had to be a, something would have to change from how it's supposed to go, so what changed? And... I don't know that they have an answer for that, because it's like, we brought this up before, but like, they're like, Loki, you fucked up by picking up that space stone, it's like, how? That was a tool in, in my timeline. There was no reason. There wasn't any warning. There wasn't any sense that, like, picking this up is against... It's a crime. Like, what the fuck? And why... If we're talking about continuity, it's like, who put that that stone in front of him when it wasn't supposed to happen? It's like, oh yeah, Tony Stark. But well, you're telling me... Kill him or they, well, this you're is not the, gonna this kill is the problem. him, I guess. You're su that's supposed to happen, but he wasn't supposed to grab it. So the problem lies with Loki specifically making that choice, yeah? Which means but people that... <laughs> people choosing things is the problem. But why yeah. wouldn't Loki pick it up? Loki was just supposed to not pick it what up. Was what he was supposed... laying right that's, there. That's, that's yeah, what they I'm saying. Like, know that Loki's gonna pick it up. It's it like putting a big juicy sense. steak in front of a starving dog and then punishing the dog for eating it. Yeah. Which is seriously a problem. Like you're telling me that whenever they go off script, making a choice, like an actual choice, because that's something that they wanted to do rather than what they were told to do or coerced to do in some way. That's when you reset them? Again, every single the choice. Time variant authority murdered? Every single choice that's ever been made in this entire universe, it was always a, a script. Yeah. It was on a script. Like, if ever they ever did anything else, they would have been killed. Like, this is fucking yeah. crazy. I don't know why they wrote this. <laughs> like, why have you done this? Yeah, it makes you think how many people the t TVA have murdered. Like, <laughs> this is like the ultimate power creep. Yeah. That's what Loki said. He's like, the Infinity Stones are pointless. The Tesseract is pointless. This is the ultimate power. That was, I feel like, the only intelligent line that was stated in this show. Mm -hmm. He was well, the TVA are authoritarians, like on Absolutely. the grand They're scale space possible. Nazis. Yep. They're the ultimate space god. They're so Nazi evil. People. How is it so hard to write people who aren't m monsters? Someone said that's probably the point of the show, that the T TVA are villains, and it's like, that doesn't save the problem, it's already been done. Even yeah, if we kill them by the end. and also, as we from our last Marvel show, good luck actually having the show writers addressing who is and isn't the villain. Yeah, so first of all, I'm pretty sure Owen Wilson's <laughs> gonna be the good guy, but it could, could turn yeah. out they try and twist it, but it wouldn't matter if by the last episode, Loki dismantles the entire organization, kills the three space lizards, and releases everyone into free will. It wouldn't matter. Because every film up to this point means it was on a script. Mm -hmm. The damage you can't is done. Fix that problem. Yeah. No, no, no. Captain America, he chose to save Bucky. He saw the goodness of if Bucky. If he hadn't nope. chosen to do Bucky, he would have uh, saved Bucky. He would have been killed. He would have been, yeah. yeah. been, been executed by the TVA. They would have done a time reset. And they would have given yep. it another shot. And it would have carried on like it, quote unquote, should have gone. And, yeah, like... I, I do wonder what that looks like if Captain America decapitated Steve or something. Do they just go back and how do how do you fix that? How do you fix that? Yeah, because I'm expecting like, like they they meet one of the spaces at one point and he's like this wise thing that's like you know what, 
sometimes people really do make meaningful, or that this whole time it all is meaningful decisions. We've only actually been correcting when there's fuck-ups. Oh, like, to try and actually did... recover this in some way. Do you really Why think did they run... spend some of their budget on that? Uh, For well, the they CG got a lot of money. Can't buy oh, it's probably writing, a CG space lizard, yeah. Also, I, I genuinely feel like that at this point, you can't buy good writing. Because, like, it just, going strictly no, by can't. who makes money, it's not going to tell you fuck all at this point. Writing is so... D and I think the problem is that we just, we don't... It is not treated like a craft in the same way that other more obvious things are. Like art, or, um... Yeah, like painting. Or music, yeah. Well, because you can dress it up. Right? Like, if there was no visuals, if it was just the script being read in a robotic voice so that you can only appreciate the events and the ideas, people probably wouldn't fucking like it at all. But, uh, you get all the actors, all of the soundtrack, all the wonderful aesthetics, like, yeah, this is awesome, actually. I mean, that's what WandaVision was, it was almost, like, meta about it. Ah. <sighs> Some a moment of silence for the MC. I know. <laughs> Is no one gonna bring up the thing you said Captain America decapitated Steve? Oh, if he decapitates Tony, then <laughs> he gets melted, and I guess they put a little floop thing on the ground and then it resets to the fight. And if he makes the same I don't see why resetting it would mean that the yeah, right thing would Yeah, it's another problem. What, what exactly would, do they yeah. do? Because that means they would have identified what went wrong. In this scenario, say for example, the alarm clock really didn't set and that guy didn't wake up. They go back and change it. I'm then sitting there like, wait, but why did it change in the first place? Yeah. Who did you that? What did that? It. Like, what causes the anomalies? You, and, and you know, someone might be like, you haven't even seen more than episode one yet. And I'm like, yeah, because I already know whatever answer they give is going to cause problems. Yep. And that's if we're lucky enough to have an answer. I, I mean, don't think we're honest, getting any more It doesn't really answers. matter that we've only seen one episode. It's like you're baking something and you grab the salt instead of sugar. It's like, well, yeah, you added salt instead of sugar. Your muffins aren't going to taste very oh, good. Like some they, salty muffins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they fucked it up from the very beginning. And I, there's no going back from this. Well, I think the easiest one, because it's on my mind, Endgame without Loki is still screwed. It's just more screwed now. Now it's more screwed. But it was, it was still bad before this. The time travel, anyway. But yeah. it was supposed to be bad. So that makes it better, right? Oh, yeah. How do you recover from this? Because like, if we watch any movie now, the MCU is any good. You just have that in the back of your head. Be like, oh, man. The TBA no, made it this way. Yeah, nothing else could have happened, though. Yeah. There are no <laughs> stakes. Whatever was going to happen was going to happen. It really does. We're not being hyperbolic. This ruins, like, everything. It does. It's, <laughs> it's done. It's, pretty it's catastrophic. over. Wanda broke reality. This breaks fucking everything. Yeah, but we're going to be told it looks cool, guys. Mm, it looks cool. Yeah, it looks cool. They had money. Things. Well, you know what? There's no, such thing. Like things. There's no such thing as a contrivance anymore because the TVA set it up. Oh, yeah, yeah that's true. So that takes care of that. Yeah, we knocked out I'm every contrivance in every scene. MCU movie, so there's that, yeah. It's time for some road rage, mm. I like the idea that it's like, as soon enough we'll have the Eternals being inexplicable too. It's like, these guys will trump whatever the Eternals problems are. Oh, I don't- yeah, I thought Eternals was gonna be the, the one that was like, gonna make no sense in terms of world building, but... God damn, surprise me. <laughs> and in one episode. Yeah, in ten- in ten, like, minutes. We're already done. Imagine all those points in the Winter Soldier when Bucky could have just pulled out the gun he had and shot Captain America, which was the obvious choice. Yeah, every time he does him. that, he gets executed by the <laughs> TVA for it. That's what would have happened. They would have melted him. And then if Bucky reset oh the area, that he just forgets he has the gun. They're like, yes, that was what you're supposed to so, do. So, you see, there are no flaws in the MCU because every time the characters make an incredibly stupid decision, it's because the TVA went back in time and reset it enough times that it just didn't happen anymore. The characters no longer made the incorrect yeah. decisions. If there's one in a trillion chance that Bucky just forgets he has a gun for whatever reason, it will that happen. That was the one. They did it yeah. a trillion times until he got it right, I guess. TV, uh, dude, do I. Oh, it gets so much worse the more you think about it. Yeah. I feel like I, I doubt that they're smart enough to do it. Maybe this was their excuse for this is why they didn't do that. This is, this, you know, solves all your plot hole problems, guys. I doubt it. I, I doubt, doubt it. it. 
I don't <laughs> they're not smart enough to do it, it, but if they did told, use that as an excuse, I'd be some like... Some fucking Chad who eh. made this show said, see, I, I actually fixed everything. Lol. <laughs> There's somebody out there that thinks that, though. Yeah. Who's been messing up the, the only way is the you can TBI save this show... Along, right? The only way you can save this show is in the last episode, the last ten minutes or whatever, it's revealed that Doctor Strange actually captured Loki, and he put him into some crazy, like, mind prison yeah. to get information out of hey, him. That would fix the goddamn... That would fix it! Like, it would! We have to make this show go away. It, this show needs to not happen, yes. is essentially how you fix it. It needs to yeah. not there exist. There is no tweaking. It can't happen. <laughs> Decanonize yes. it immediately. Oh my god, wait, the TV doesn't take sides at all? Bull fucking shit. When Loki makes a completely valid point as to it's not, you know, fair that, oh, Iron Man, Captain America, Hulk, Thor, all of the fucking Avengers are allowed to fuck with the timeline, but he picks up one thing that just comes to his feet, which is a completely in-character thing for him to do, that's wrong? Bull fucking shit, they're not picking sides. What was Bullshit, go watch the episode weird. again. Was he's supposed, supposed to just not pick die? it up, even though it's the <laughs> Tesseract right next to him, and he's... I he's mean, Loki. <laughs> you knew he would do that, because you knew to come pick him up. And so who's at fault? It's Tony and Ant-Man. Yes, because they screwed it up. Yeah. But they were meant to screw it up. That was always meant to happen. That's what I don't get. They're like, we knew they were going to do that, and that's totally chill, but what we didn't want was for them to do that thing that led to you picking that up. It's like, how could that be something that surprised you? Also, and it's not Loki's fault. They did that. It's still their fault. You haven't- you've just kicked the can down the road. Because remember, they they arrive in um, the Gobi Desert like, oh, there's an anomaly around here. It's like they didn't even know this was- Do you understand what I mean when they're like, they would be monitoring the Avengers doing all their shit and being like, yep, this is all fine. And then they would be watching it kind of like we were, with Tony doing all yeah. that shit. They would see Loki pick up the cube and be like, oh... Uh -oh. This right, is off script. Him. Wouldn't it alert from that very moment? Wouldn't they have technology to be like, yeah, he was not supposed to pick that up, anomaly? Boop. You know what? This kind of reminds me of. Did you guys watch the Pixar movie Inside Out? Yeah. No. No. no? Okay, well, like with the, the emotions, and they're all watching the screen of like the little girl's life, and you can go back and pick any memory. You just don't have the future. It's kind of like mm -hmm. that, where they would be sitting there, they would be monitoring everything that's ever going on, that ever will go on, or that ever has gone on, and they would be able to find points in time that they needed to correct if there was anything that went wrong that kind of glitched. Yeah. But these people are completely incompetent. Why the fuck are any of these idiots working for this company? Do they have really good, like, superannuation? Like, what's... Do they have really good union pay? What, what, what's... <laughs> why are you here? How do you even get this value? job? Why are they even there? Who well, are they? they? Why the are they all they, human? They, it they does, were created. Nothing they were makes created sense. To do this. They were created. This is that... So it, it is literally the Rick and Morty, what do you... What's my purpose? You pass well, butter, except it's you fix timelines. <laughs> remember, there's an implication that Owen Wilson's, like not that competent and should be punished for his mistake with Loki and then he's like well you were the one who ruined it I'm just saying like how is this even possible why wouldn't everything yeah. just be done perfectly I don't understand how can you make mistakes if you know everything that's gonna happen you have scripts mm. and so, someone said like come on EFAP it's not as preachy as Falcon the Winter Soldier I don't care about if it's I don't preachy. care excuse me that's why this the didn't make me angry it made me depressed sees is a Whammon that comes to beat the shit out of him and drag him to this TVA. And then what's the next thing? Oh, it's a whammon speaking down to him. And yes, he makes a valid point. And then she's like, no, reasons. And then oh, Owen Wilson this, making this. the very obvious comment about her being above him. And he's like, oh yeah, I kind of like it. It's like, really? Give me a fucking break. I see right oh, through what? that shit. I just, I don't care. Like, if it's preachy or not. Like, it sucks. I don't... <laughs> But like, I, I don't understand, like, the, the core thing for EFAP is, is, is cause and effect. They broke reality, guys. Like, this is the core tenant. <laughs> you, you can't do is that. that. Really one job. If it's not preachy, Yo, then you're cool with it. It's like, like, we, we have one request. Don't, don't break the foundations of reality. That's, like, a good starting point. I... Oh, but it's preachy. <laughs> it's preachy. I, I can't deal with that. This is, is okay. it's such a great example of how do you retroactively like ruin dozens of movies that were made over what 16, 15 years or whatever? Well, it's been about the, 10 years now, yeah. He's like, like, more than that. You yeah. did it. I don't know how he, he was like, the fucking mad lads did it. You have a uh, They James, ruined James everything in an episode of a show. 
James Gunn, Joss Whedon, John Favreau, they're all just in a, like in their respective you know sets when they're making their movies, and you're like, man, isn't it crazy to think that all these characters are doing all these things because they were forced to, in a sense, by the TVA? Space. Uh, like the they, TVA. They, they, look at, yeah, they, they just look at you like, um, what? <laughs> what? And you're like, oh, d forget I said anything. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry, that's, we're not, we're, I'm gonna have to turn you into, it's too soon, I'm gonna turn you into <laughs> juice, alright? And yeah, a lot Are of the things we've highlighted as evidence of destroying everything, they're done for memes. Like, they want to have you laugh yeah, at destroyed. these things. Yep. Kind of insane. Isn't that funny? I think I saw someone say, they're mad, it's like, yeah, well, you know what, Wouldn't I you don't be? know. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm not, I don't think I'm mad anymore, because I don't think it's good for my mental health at this point. I was mad at yeah. Falcon and the Winter Soldier. That made me mad. That made me upset. Falcon and the Winter Soldier was quite maddening. This yeah. is more just like... This show is just depressing, but not because the show itself is depressing, even though it is. It's like, it's meta-depressing. What it represents. This is how mm. things are now. All right, like Doctor Strange. Just Strain kind said. of exhausting. Like, aren't you guys tired of just turning this on and just sitting there and watching this shit and you know utilizing your brain and being like, oh well, they could have done this. Oh nope, nope, they're gonna go that way. Oh really? You guys picked it? Oh okay. All right, all right. So this is where we are now. Well, every once in a while, you get something that's good, and it's like, yeah. Yeah. Like what? Father. Why matter? <laughs> okay, well that's. Daniel's thing. That's not that Marvel. Marvel. <laughs> That's not Marvel. True. Oh, uh, not Marvel had it. Not... Well, Marvel's well, a, we their all-time low you know? now. This is officially... It yeah. already was, but this is officially the all-time low. It, there's nothing yeah, that's... they got worse, yeah. Yeah. Um, which means, you know, it's always darkest before the dawn, right? That's what the people say. <laughs> well, that's what... Um, what well, is I the guess... thing with feathers or sun or whatever the fuck the line was? I don't know, you just look to the future and it's like, well, what are you optimistic for? It's like, Spider-Man is... concerns me. Um... Yeah. I guess I care about that the most, but I'm concerned. Doctor Strange, I no longer have any confidence in because it's the same... <laughs> it's gonna build off this shit. This. And it built yeah, it builds off this, so that, it's gone. Uh, Thor could be cool. Um... <laughs> could be cool is the best we have to say about anything. Yeah, and um, as for what else have we got, like... I don't know, um... Miss Marvel? <laughs> I don't know, like, I don't- I don't know what I'm to look forward to. <sighs> yeah, um... I guess we- uh, Guardians 3 is probably the thing I'm most optimistic Yeah, it's definitely about. Guardians 3 for me. Definitely Guardians 3, mm -hmm. which is a shame because I know that whatever those characters do, uh... Well, it's the end, probably. It seems like James Gunn's just gonna go back to DC after that. Like, that he's just, you know, like... I can't believe I'm only... looking to the DC as hope now. Well, yeah, because <laughs> Batman could be cool. Suicide Squad Batman, could be alright. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. Suicide Squad, I'm looking forward to the Suicide Squad. That trailer was great. I, I really want to I want to watch that show and enjoy it. <laughs> and yeah. I, I hopefully don't have to worry about the cosmos breaking. We are, yeah, I guess we're, we're beyond that phase of the DC stuff, I guess. The Snyderverse is better than this. It's, well, yeah, they didn't... Well, it's better than this. They uh, haven't fucked with time ew. and space yet, so... I know, that's how bad it's gotten. Well, we got, well, we got Flash, I guess. Flash and Snyder Cut, yes. that kind of... But yeah, that's, that's that. non-canon, right? That's true, that is non-canon. Currently. Yeah, Justice League Hopefully is canon, when they so. give him that power, it's a little bit more uh, restricted. Well, Flashpoint, that could be Wait, the, wait, the Snyder movie. Cut isn't canon? As far as I know. I'm pretty sure it's not canon, yeah. Uh, how it could it be? It should be fired out of a canon. How could it be canon? <laughs> there's there's a lot of references in that movie that don't, like the Aquaman stuff with Mera and the parents. It's like, this is an impossibility, so. Yeah, I, And I, a lot of stuff. I guess we'll see, but yeah. Um. Mm-hmm. Is it worse than Man of Steel? Yes. This yeah. is a yeah. 1 out of 10. It's 1 out of 10. This is Fair. probably the worst. Henry in it. So, yeah, just to clarify for chat, oh, like, true. I don't know why we have to clarify this, but I guess we will. So, we rarely ever give a 1. So it's, it's a very special rating. Only one other thing is... Um, well, two other things. things. The one division finale and Crisis. I think oh, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, one division yeah. finale, weren't we teetering between 1 and 2? We weren't sure. I think we were. Well, I. You know what? I, I feel like we need we to make that not a one. You know. 
Yeah, like, because it, this is this like is a mega one. one. Yeah. Yeah. That that that's gotta be a two because at least it's it's fuckery is localized. Yeah, to a certain and Maybe extent. that needs to be the determinant of it, where, like, Crisis on Infinite Earth and Loki, it applies to the entire cosmos. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it breaks the universe. <laughs> All the universe. Well, I guess, yeah, because I guess there aren't multiple universes anymore. No, there's uh, only one. Because I guess uh, that oh, is the thing. People <laughs> in chat, stop asking. It's not, it's, it's worse than Batwoman. It is. Yes, Batwoman is better written Batwoman than Loki. fucks with characters, plot, lots of little impossibilities here and there. It never fucks with and space and time, obviously excluding operates. Crisis and Infinite. Crisis, yeah. So I only watched a little bit of Batwoman, but any time she, she was lost. asked a question... I know, right? Any time she was asked a question about herself, she was able to answer it, right? And she probably had a really snarky comeback. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's really, really bad. It's... it's really Batwoman's bad. are... Are two, three? No, but at two? least when the character True. was asked questions specifically about herself, she knew the answer, right? Not where Loki is getting lectured about who the god of mischief mischief is by Owen Wilson, and he's sitting there flabbergasted at Owen Wilson just lecturing him about his life. It's like, are you kidding me? The real Loki would sit back, smug, smile, and be like, "Yeah, bitch, I fucking did that." You want to yeah, hear it, about some other shit that I did? Yeah, that was it, fun. You you kind of right because like Batwoman doesn't really have characters to assassinate. Um, mm. whereas, like, Loki did. Oh. It was Loki. As someone who I just said in chat, so if the rat never crawled across the, the the quantum machine, I guess they would have showed up and vaporized it for not making the right choice. And vaporized the rat. <laughs> oh, they, they, oh, they put the rat in shackles and they bring it to take, it's gotta take a number. You made the wrong rat choice, is, rat. Are these all the squeaks you ever squeaked? Sign it's here. Make, it's gonna make the Loki Oh, this is making the endgame script just balloon. Like, I don't, I don't know what to do with this. I didn't think it would be like this. It I thought it would be... Make it a preamble and say, okay, before we talk about endgame, recent <laughs> events have occurred beyond my power. That <laughs> really it's fucked not my this. fault. It's not my fault, but we're just going to have to... Here, well, I, here's I why. Think, uh... I oh, think I'm so, just gonna so, do a really so quick asked, summary of Loki. Does the TVA monitor the quantum realm? I guess yes. they do. They yeah. must do, yes, yeah. Yes, they do. They've just... Yeah, what if Ant-Man went to the quantum realm and he did something he wasn't supposed to do? Do they have to shrink themselves down or did it just step on him and reset it? <laughs> this, it doesn't fucking work. It doesn't work. Stop it. Oh, I think all I can do for this is just have a preface of, oh, I'm, like, ignoring Loki. I'm sorry. I can't. Well, like, it doesn't make sense. You can't possibly you implement it. You guys keep watching it? Probably, yeah. Uh, I, uh, yeah at this we, point, we it's, have to it's now, like, don't we? <laughs> it's practically our responsibility to stay abreast of, like, what the fuck the MCU is doing right now. Kind of the same for the DCU as well. Mm -hmm. Um... And, you know, because I'd watch any new Star Wars stuff that comes out as well. There are things I've got to, I can talk about it, we've got a history for it. And we can obviously talk about writing as a result. We can be like, so, yeah. let's talk about time travel and space travel and fucking time cop. Because I was about to say, like, with everything that we're finding out, you know how maybe uh, Falcon the Winter Soldier, you, you could use like an analogy of, oh, it's like a house, but uh, the walls are falling apart, it's all rotten, blah, blah, blah. You, know, you, you can get really mm -hmm. descriptive. With, um, with Loki, it's just like, you know, you, you set simulation. I haven't described to you what you're about to see. You're expecting to see, like, a house that's barely standing. But it's just, it's just shit. Like, a little puddle of shit. And it's like, <laughs> oh. Like, this isn't a structure. And I'm like, I know. I, <laughs> there's just nothing. It's, there's no baseline. It's, what do you propose we do with this? It's like, I don't know. That's why I hired you. It's like, but I don't, I don't even understand what this is. It's like, yeah, that's why we hired you. <laughs> I don't- you're not- you're not clarifying. <laughs> That's your job. And, you know, for the record, once again, y'all might enjoy it in chat. Some of you clearly already did. It's like, you go have fun. Mm -hmm. Not my but kind of storytelling. With, I can't watch no. fucking stories with no stakes. It's like, what the hell's the point? Honestly, it's kind of like the equivalent of watching Teletubbies. If you don't care and you just look at it, it's like, all right, there's something going on. <laughs> Telly Dummies is fucking leagues ahead of this shit. <laughs> I know, I'm trying to be. I feel like Telly Dummies would handle time them. travel better. Well, they did. No, they probably was there a time did. travel episode did. in Telly Tubbies? They probably had one, and it was probably like, it made no more sense. Yeah, just a little <laughs> bit. It's like, 
it's been like a year or two since I watched it with my nephew, but something about like a year Mo or two. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I with, a little. Uh... I thought there's like babies in my family. Oh. And so it's like if you want to spend time with the kids, you got to do what they want to do, you know. Yeah, so like, I know all you know. about. Yeah. I know yeah. about yeah. JJ the jet plane and Caillou that little. There's um there's this one show with like a little bird that goes in tunnels that the that Irish dude narrates who's. It's very soothing, but I don't know. Little kids are fascinated with it. Maybe babies would like Loki. I don't think it's they would. For babies. They'd, they'd find it really hard to understand what's going on. <laughs> the baby's just like, this is fucking shit. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> so, turn on, yeah, fuck this shit. Turn it back on to Blue's Clues. That, that, that shit had structure. Yeah. Luke's Clues probably does well, have Blue's more structure. Blue's Clues went woke now. Oh. What what is what is Blue's Clues that's woke mean? <laughs> what, is, what, is that, what does that look like? Ah, uh, you trust me. You don't want to know. Well, on the bright side, Loki's only going to have another whole set of episodes and another season. It's not like they'll and another season and probably another one after that. It'll only get better, right? I can't see how it could get worse. Yeah, um, but I, I guess that's that about we just, operate, so, just, just wait until they Bioshock Infinite us and they start going back in time to different movies and fucking with things. Yeah. Do you guys think that this might be a way for them to bring back characters that died, that maybe were actors that claimed, I don't want to do the MCU anymore, and then this is kind of their oh, yeah, if, way um, back in? Robert Downey Jr. said he wanted to come back. This is It's not even a question they now. It's easy. Yeah, they found a way. You see, they they've got them. They've got a billion ways because nothing matters anymore. No, yeah, it's true. It shit up on the spot. They just invented the most powerful, omniscient, incredible, insane, godlike organization that ever existed. And it turns out they were here the whole time, and they just they just created them for this show. So, and in a very lazy fashion, we don't get an explanation of how or why they want whatever. They just said everything you've seen so far. That's what we wanted. Like, right. Mm-hmm. Well, imagine if the Black Widow movie does well and ScarJo is like, yeah, I'm totally down to keep playing this character. Okay, mm. next season of Loki, all he's got to do is go back in time and get yep. her and open a doorway saying, hey, you didn't really have to die, and now this is a way for Hawkeye to still get the stone and for us to save you at the same time. Oh, well, yeah, you'll so, just grab one from the drawer, right? Yeah, there you go. Toss it over to him. Gosh. I... There's no repercussions for anything. There's no stakes. Nobody is at. Nobody's ever really gone. This is stupid. Can't believe that. Hate it. Mm. Unless I have hate for Loki, most of just have hate in a general sense right now. Just like. Yeah. <sighs> you fuckers. I really liked Loki. And yeah, to see this great. is what it's re like, what he's reduced to, it's like, come on, Loki was actually a fucking character, and now he's literally just a plot device that moves from room to room, to room so people can talk at Characters him and tell you the plot. Yeah, he's just thrown about. So they're gonna need mm -hmm. Loki, you see. They need him for their mission. I don't it's, know why, but yeah, I guess yeah, they do. I, I think yeah, we they talked could about literally it, I'm just... sure, but, um... <laughs> So you have this thing where you're like, an anomaly. Go back in time, check it out. All of our men died. It's like, okay, we'll just travel to five minutes before that and save them and also stop whatever happened. They die. You're like, okay, a day before then. I guess we'll have to set up a whole bunch of shit. Like, like there's just, and how do you how do you win against the time cops? How? They could just look into the future and see who the bad guy is, where their lair is, everything about them, and then just open a doorway to their fucking lair and then just annihilate them instantly. Yeah, with the Why do they batons. need Loki's help to find this character? Why don't they have guns? And why would Loki help them? Why don't they have guns? Why? Because guns are bad. No guns. Oh, so in a superhero TV show. So no superpowers either. You have some kind of weapons that destroy people instantly, but, you know. Yeah, because, like, they won't be able to appeal to more lives saved as their fundamental, you know, goal, the TVA, I mean. There's so many things have happened in the MCU that just don't match that idea. Um, 
you know, like every decision, what, what all the Avengers were like, we're gonna do this about the time travel stuff, the TVA will watch them like, yep, that's the thing you're supposed to do. They can't even watch them, they turn up to the anomalies with like no clue of what's going on, but they also know when things go off script. And they have a script, I guess. Well, you would expect them to be all-knowing beings if they have access to the past, present, and future. But instead, they're just idiots that know they have to show up and do the thing. I don't get it. Who approved this? Like, do they not have people that read their scripts beforehand and say, Hey, this doesn't really make sense. Hey, what about this? Hey, what about this? They're just like, yes, just film it, just shoot it, do it, nobody's gonna ask questions. They made all these TV shows at similar times, probably, and they all just didn't give a fuck. Like, it's clear they didn't give a fuck. It makes you wonder, when when, when Captain America was, was resetting all the stones or whatever bullshit he was doing at the end of Endgame, I guess that was the plan, too, you know? You just... Yeah. <sighs> we know it is. It's still a guy like, they're gonna be villains, the TV will be villains, it's like, the, the problem Doesn't persists matter. regardless of whether they're the good guy. They're not the good guys, by the way. They're not, yeah. They're, they're not the good guys. Well, they're the same kind of good guy that Wanda is. They're gonna be perceived the good guys. Kind of good guy that makes Yeah, well, we'll never know how much the TV is sacrificed. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> God. Such a... You know what? They, none of them have morals either, because they've just sat back and watched what yeah. trillions of people die when mm -hmm. Thanos just snapped everyone. All of the, I don't know, mass murders that happen. They they all just sit back and. Well, yeah, because if they don't care about stuff like that, <laughs> like like because they have a greater goal, I'd be like, what is this greater goal exactly? That <laughs> you don't give a fuck yeah. about that happening. You could make a, you could make a video, of all of the quote unquote decisions that were made by characters throughout the MCU. And say, like, for instance, someone in chat said, friendly reminder that if Tony decided he would rather stay with his family and uh, then go on a suicide mission, the TVA would have melted him. Yep. Oh. And just do that for every I, decision I... that's made along the MC MCU. Is like, if, if, if Tony would have given up on um, Bucky, he would have gotten melted and Steve, he'd have to I, restart. Yeah. I can't write this. I can't write this script with reference to Loki. I can't. I can't. You gotta just get it out of the way at the beginning. You gotta yeah, say I, this, I have to. all of this is not yeah. considering Loki. <laughs> Why would I even? Because bother? I can't consider Loki. Loki. Everything. It breaks everything. Yeah, it it just doesn't work because every time it's every time I have to say, well, I guess if Tony had made a different choice, he would have been melted, or I guess if Cap had done this, he would have been melted. It was all part of the plan. That's a good. That's a good point. You mirror in chat. He said, like Thor, he needed to be really fat and in game. Yeah. Otherwise, he would have been melted. If, if Thor would have worked out. Much, yeah, yeah. If Thor would have worked out and not played Fortnite, he would have gotten melted. <laughs> yeah. He's like Wouldn't choosing you also which game to a download. God to have like. Like League of Legends, and then they turn up like, no, not League of Legends. You yeah. fuck. Yeah. Well, I mean, fat Thor is like just doesn't. I don't oh. see how it makes sense with metabolism, but like. Oh shit. Remember in the end of Infinity War when Thanos has the axe in him and he's like, you should have gone for the head? He's like, no, you shouldn't yeah. have. No, you shouldn't have. No. You would have gotten melted. If, if that, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, know, this the is the so variance authority is so powerful that they can presumably melt Loki, which means I guess they could melt Thanos and Galactus whenever he shows up. What if Thanos just decided all of a sudden, hey, maybe I should just, I don't know, double the resources instead of killing half the population? They would have come in and melted him, right? I guess so. If in the first Iron Man, Tony had saved his captive friend instead of him dying, he would have gotten melted for it. <laughs> <laughs> if, you know, if, uh, pointed Rody... out. Yeah? If Rhodey had been caught by Tony, they both would have been melted when he was falling <laughs> in Civil War. <laughs> if, if Vision would have missed plan, shooting Rhodey in Civil War, then yeah. Uh, if uh, if 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 Uncle if, Ben if Zemo, lived, he would have been melted. <laughs> if, 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 if King. <laughs> If, if Peter oh. gave the if, if Peter didn't give the glasses to Beck, he would have been melted, and they would have made him give them to him. 
<laughs> Uncle how Ben Peter, just has Peter to is... die. Yeah, Uncle Ben, he survives the gunshot wound. <laughs> he's <laughs> with crawling. They him, so he's dead anyway. And they just like, had, you know uh, what? Just keep it. He's dead. It's fine. Had Bucky had had. Uh, had Cap caught Bucky before he fell off the train, they would have melted both of them. You guys fucked it up. Made him do it again. So, so instead, if, oh, come on, we all know the MCU forgot Uncle Ben exists. He doesn't have to exist. Yeah, he has to be melted otherwise. Yeah, he has to be he, melted. He to <laughs> <laughs> That's right. If the Grandmaster hey, didn't melt people, they would have been melted. <laughs> they would have melted the Grandmaster. <laughs> Well, yeah, if, if Jeff Goldblum in Thor 3, if he had melted that one guy, <laughs> he would have been, been melted. <laughs> Who melts the melters? That's what this show should be called. Yeah, what does the Time Variance Authority do if there were lots of witnesses, like, around when they need to do their they thing? They don't care if they show up in the 1500s just wearing suits and shit. I, I guess I'm just wondering, it's like, if there are, if you were in a room with, like, like, if, 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 if Thor had done something wrong, and then he couldn't kill Thanos... Are you just gonna melt? Like, what? What's your plan? How do you fix this while Thanos is also here? Are you just gonna melt all of them? Can you melt Thanos? Is that within your power? Well, I see, this is the thing. They point. just if they, Dormammu, they just if show Dormammu up to, had to Dormammu, tried to absorb yeah. Earth, he would have been melted. He would have melted Dormammu. <laughs> <laughs> he would have melted Dormammu. Now, Dormammu, listen up. There, yeah. there's a path <laughs> to follow. The sacred rope thread that is the timeline. So. If, if if you don't bargain with Doctor Strange, you're going to melt you. Don't tell him we came. Or we'll melt you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's if like, Doctor Strange I would never... hadn't had that accident, they would have melted him and rigged his car so that he had his accident. They got the brakes. <laughs> they would have been like, uh, Dolby was like, I'll never agree to Doctor Strange's stupid plan. They're like, no, seriously, we will melt you. Like, no, got this you do. We'll melt, we'll melt you, Dormammu. <laughs> Don't test us, Dormammu. Don't test us, Dormammu. <laughs> Someone and said... if Ego, or something, you could do something with Ego that would have melted the whole planet of Ego had he not this, decided this to... This is so bullshit. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. They don't melt people, they reset the timeline. They melt people! They melt people! <laughs> we watch them melt people! Not we only, watch well, them melt people. Yeah, they, they, they uh, this, the same, sh like, like, so it, you guys have to appreciate, like, whether or not, um, Loki would have been melted or reset or whatever. If any of them happened to, like, stand out of line in their stupid ticket system, they could get melted. So so that play creation says Carly had to burn those people alive, or she would have gone. Or she would have been melted. melted. <laughs> what had to decapitate that guy, or he would have been melted. Oh my god. If Falcon didn't say do better, he would have been melted. <laughs> he would have been melted. <laughs> Purple Brain says if the Avengers had stopped Thanos in Infinity War, they would have been <laughs> melted. <laughs> if Wanda hadn't taken over the town, she would have been melted. Yeah. Oh my goodness. They don't make the reset. No, they melt the person. Yeah, they they melt the people. Fucking hell. They literally melt them. If Black yeah. Widow had ever missed one shot, she would have been melted. Yeah. I don't even like Hulk trying to think about it. <laughs> you're right, Liam. Hulk had to dab, or else he, he had to dab, or he would have been melted. melted. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> the sacred timeline demands that Hulk dab. Oh, that that right there is a tweet. <laughs> if Hulk had oh. dabbed, he, he would have been melted. AC has a point. If Hitler went to art school, he'd be melted. <laughs> oh. oh my god. This is this is great. I'm I feel free. I I I'm like Owen, man. I've got that weight. It's gone from my shoulders. It's all it's all absurd now. And it's I just ride that shit to hell. Fuck it. We're all getting melted anyway. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the religious yeah. side of it. Like, we're, we're, everyone's getting melted, so shut the fuck up and get on with it. They had to farm rhinos or they'd be melted. It's true. When they were picking which animal to domesticate and work with, they just, they knew it had to be the rhino. Oh my god. It's so... It's just so wonderful. Had had Killmonger not beaten Black Panther and thrown him off the the thing, they would have melted Black Panther. 
You fucked up, dude. Well, because this was the thing I just wanted to bring up quickly. I think you guys kind of touched on it, but... Picture you're Thanos and you made a wrong choice at some point while you have that gauntlet. They show up looking for an anomaly, and he'd be like, what the fuck? And then they, and then they look at him and they're like, you. You come with us, and he just fucking vaporizes them. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Like, how could you stop Thanos if he, or if someone's more powerful than you, which... You have a bunch of batons? I... I don't see how that would work against someone who had, like... You know, a Glock like I've got here. Like, I could stop the time police! You could. I could, right you now, could, me, yeah. at this desk! This is- <laughs> What does that Chris mean, says, you know? Like, <laughs> this is what I mean, we showed Chris they could be defeated what... by fire. Like, <laughs> this- they're- they're limited, let's say. <laughs> I have to- I have to post this for you to see, because this is hilarious. Wakanda no ever. Wakanda no ever. <laughs> Someone says, if I stop the time, please, I'll get melted. Well, they're going to melt me anyway. Yeah. There, there's apparently no pathway to redemption here in this system. No. Which makes me wonder why they go through the you fucking charade. You don't even charade. know what you've done wrong. You, you, you yeah. just get told you made the wrong decision. Yeah, they bring you before this judge bitch, and she's like, uh, yeah, you violated the sacred timeline. Duh, don't you know this? And I'm like, bitch, no one knows any. You made this up for the show five minutes ago. Reasons. So if Rags didn't ruin Grandma, would they melt him? Yeah, they would. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> if Nick Fury didn't lose his eye to a space cat, he'd have been melted. Well, the, right. the cat would have been melted, maybe, Marvel and then he would have been reset. If the John's bike, she would have been melted. Well, picture that anyway, right? The whole reset thing. So that little device, I'm assuming within a certain radius, r reverts everything back in time in that area to run again, right? Yeah, because, I guess yeah, so. You, because you Loki was the anomaly, so they removed him from that area. And, and then, then they reset, reset the, it. Yeah. And we don't know what the... the Prox I don't even know if you could possibly reset proximity in a certain place on Earth time-wise without fucking with everything else, but... Yeah. But the is big takeaway of this is that if Peter Parker's landlord had fixed that damn door, <laughs> then he would have been melted. <laughs> he would have been yeah. melted? And, and Peter <laughs> being on time, delivering the pizza, he would have been melted. Had he not done the funny dance down the street, he would have been melted. Had... Jared Leto's Joker not been an idea, he would have been melted. He would have been melted. <laughs> you can just apply that to every <laughs> single thing. Had they not done that, they would have been melted. <laughs> Yet melted That's... when you fix this damn door! <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> what have you done? You know, it's bad that they don't even realize what they've done. Who doesn't get melted like in the that. system? It's pretty unclear. You get charged with being an anomaly, and then you get made guilty. I don't even know why they put you through the system at that point. Yeah, they should yeah. just melt you on the spot and save themselves some time. Where did you learn to write? On a melted farm? <laughs> <laughs> you can't even they, begin. What if the plant doesn't grow the right way? Do they just show up and melt the plant and reset the forest? <laughs> <laughs> what if a ladybug just makes a different decision? <coughs> they melt the ladybug and reset yeah. the timeline. Well, we went down to the quantum level earlier. They have to do it all. Yeah. If a, if an atom just moves it slightly differently than it was supposed to, they melt it. If the sun just has a little different chemical reaction, they melt the sun and have to redo it. Someone said, my brain is melting right now. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty much yeah. it. It better be, otherwise you'll be melted. They're just sitting up there watching the Holocaust happen. And the Nazis, they only kill 5,999,999 Jews. So Hitler gets melted or something. <laughs> like, I, don't know. I, I thought you were going to go grimmer. Like one of the Jews escapes when they weren't supposed to, gets teleported <laughs> and melted. Because <laughs> you went off. The they're like, oh, I finally escaped that terrible, terrible Auschwitz, and then boom, the time cops show up and say, freeze, Jew, you're coming with us. You oh. son of a bitch, you went off script. It's like, what? You are supposed to die horribly in that terrible, impressive concentration camp.
why don't you melt the Nazis? Because the space lizards said that they were supposed to win. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? It's the sacred timeline set by the space lizards. You're like, oh, right, yeah. Cruella was better. Yep, it was. Uh, it's Jews, hard to be a one. You gotta pick a number. Are these the things that you've ever said? I think this is, and they put her in front of the bitch judge. And he's like, do you know, you have any idea what horrible crimes you've committed by escaping from that concentration camp? And they're just like shocked and confused. They just get, they just, they just escape one Nazi organization to get dropped into another. Rags of snow gets out of the fridge, it gets melted, yeah. It yeah, does. <laughs> Rags, as someone in your time zone, what are you doing up so early? I'm just up. I don't know. I was I was thinking about going to bed before we watched this show, but I don't know. I think the hate has just given me energy. I yeah. might just. I wish I, I could relate. I have no energy. <laughs> it, it's given me this. Yeah, I feel like I'm re-energized just talking about it. Because when you said you guys have a free hour, lol, uh, to talk about this show. <laughs> um, I was like, yeah, I suppose I got it. And now I just feel, I feel like I just woke up. It's, uh... Laughing about the show and the time, in the time crime. I need to go back and watch the time crime episodes from Super Jail to see if they actually sort of make more sense, because they probably do. Y'all remember Super Jail? I that do was fun. Not. That was a fun show. Super Jail was fun. They had they had a different theme song for the pilot, and they chose a shittier theme song for the actual show. Why? Rags, if you wouldn't have been up this early, you would have melted. That's very true. That's true. That's very true. Yeah. God, imagine being aware of this system, because every single thing you ever choose to do, you're like, oh god, is this, do I die? Is this it? I feel like it's, I should it's use the... that if I ever get pulled over by a cop. It's like, I'm sorry, officer, I had to be speeding right here because I would have been melted. Bring it up with the space lizards. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Um, normally, or, or normally in shows, the message or the idea will be the opposite of this. That you have no destiny. The future yeah. is what you make of it. You decide. You're the one who could change uh, the future. You're not locked into a fate. You have the power to da da da. Yeah, you, it's very, you it's empowering. Say, yeah, you might and say there are TV just... shows whose core fundamental message is that you always mm. have a choice. <laughs> yeah, oh, you yeah. could say that. Not about this show. Yeah, this show ain't doing this shit. <laughs> if Luke stayed and fought the First Order, he would have been melted. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking absurd. Oh my god. Now we know why Movie Bob can never touch a woman. <laughs> He'll be melted. No Bob fate but what we melt. Had had <laughs> 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 no fate but what we melt. Word? Had Movie Bob not tweeted that that's a small amount for an average sized person, <laughs> he would have been melted. Oh. If Norman Osborn wasn't somewhat of a scientist of the <laughs> I can't oh tweet God. all of these at the same time. Jesus. It's so good. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. If Terminator can 180 on this, then Marvel can too. Yeah, well, so Ter Terminator 180 in like a shitty way. Like, they reset everything, and it was gonna happen no matter what, but... You can't even... This is the thing. If oh. someone went, like, you can always reset the timeline, it's like, can you actually reset this? This is, like, the concept of time, so it's like, you can't even reset it through time. <laughs> if if the Green Goblin wasn't... <laughs> if the Green Goblin wasn't shadow banned on Twitter, he would have been held <laughs> <laughs> If if Hush didn't break Ryan's plant on Batwoman season That's two, right. <laughs> had Alice not killed all of the people she killed, she would have been melted. No fate but what we melt is so good. If Judas hadn't no betrayed fate. Jesus, he would have been melted. No fate but what we melt. <laughs> <laughs>
The Terminator franchise was walking off a cliff, tried to 180, but did a 360 by accident. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, chat's oh. on fire today. That's so great, yeah. Oh my god. That's right, if Doc Ock would have used his tentacle blade, he would have been melted. That's very true, yeah. Think of all the dead Peters and alternate attempts at, you know. Oh. Um, if PewDiePie didn't say the N word, he'd have been melted. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. You know that the psychology interview for you where he's like, it's the voices, the demons. He's like, if yeah. I hadn't done it, they'd have melted me. <laughs> <laughs> the demons would have melted me. <laughs> Oh, speaking of which, speaking of that guy, someone posted this meme in my chat, in my Discord. Who is this chat you keep referring to? <laughs> <laughs> They're real demons, that's for sure. Oh. If Palpatine didn't somehow return, he would have been melted. <laughs> If Holdo hadn't done the whole yeah, maneuver, he would have been melted. <laughs> if uh, Palpatine hadn't said ironic, isn't it? He would have been melted. Ironic. Ironic. And he just doesn't finish the sentence. It's like, no. Brought back right. only to be melted. <laughs> if Obi-Wan <laughs> hadn't not... gotten the high ground, he would have been melted. Oh. Yeah, Anakin was supposed to be the one who gets If melted. Anakin had the high ground, he would have melted. <laughs> yeah, that's right. No. Melted if you do, melted if you don't. It's 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 tough for Anakin. <laughs> that's a tough one, yeah. Yeah, if Terminator T if the T eight hundred there, if he hadn't uh, gone into the, the 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 pool of liquid metal and melted, he would have been melted. <laughs> yeah. Uh if the sequel trilogy was good, then JJ would have been melted. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, that's right, Moonlight. If Anakin hadn't been melted, he would have been <laughs> melted. <laughs> <laughs> One ring to melt them all. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I like the idea that if Gandalf hadn't fucking killed the power. <laughs> he would have been melted. Yeah, if he Bilbo didn't down. solve Gandalf's riddle, or, or if, uh, sorry, if, if Smeagol had guessed Bilbo's riddle correctly, he would have been melted. <laughs> <laughs> Daenerys had to melt King's Landing, or she would have yeah, been Yeah, she would have been melted. <laughs> if Epstein had killed himself, he would have been <laughs> melted. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> If I just saw someone mention Toy Story, if Woody, if Woody didn't abandon his friends, he would have been melted. <laughs> like, if John Connor wasn't killed in the first five minutes, he'd have been melted. <laughs> if Australia defeated the emus, they emus, would have been Australia would be melted. <laughs> <laughs> If Rick didn't turn into a pickle, he would have been <laughs> melted. Holy shit. Oh, God. What a wonderful universe. Oh, my cheeks are sore. Made yeah. strong. Not, not for what I normally do. <laughs> I keep tweeting him. Jeez. I'm trying to keep up. Too much fire. I think, I don't know which is my favorite, but I do love the... If uh... Aldo told Poe the plan, she would have been <laughs> melted. <laughs> if Luke hadn't thrown the lightsaber off the cliff, he would have been melted. No, the TVA are behind it all. Oh, listen to this one. If I didn't add molasses extract to my milkshake, it'd be malted. Oh. Oh, boy. Fucking look at you. Uh -huh -huh. If, if Chris John hadn't shoot... said where you trade on a farm, he would have been melted. 
<laughs> if Chris didn't shoot fake Mia, he would have been melted. If, if, if uh, Batman hadn't said, why did you say that name, he would have been melted. i go off scripts. What's important? <clears throat> if the Wicked Witch had not been if melted, Dark she would have hadn't melted. forgotten where the planet was, he would have been melted. This is the thing, you, you can't really blame these this piece of content anymore. That's right, no, if Chris explained RE8's plot to Ethan, he would have been melted. Yeah, that's oof, it's really rough. Yeah, that's right, Chris was just, he didn't want to be melted. The most unfair if, ones are when they're melting as a result of trying to avoid being melted. Of course. I don't know if it's been said, but if Abby didn't kill Joel, she would have been melted. Yeah, it's not really her fault <laughs> at that point, is it? If Ethan didn't say, it's dark, he would have been <laughs> <laughs> It's dark. If Superman saved people, he would have been melted. <laughs> if he saved if people. Wes... <laughs> if Wes... If Gal Gadot said, was a good actress, she would be melted. If she had to said kal -El no in that specific way, she would have been melted. <laughs> and again, if Wesker hadn't said complete global saturation, he would have been saturated. Mm -hmm. He would have been saturated. <laughs> He was just trying to save the world by saturating it so that the time people didn't do it themselves. <laughs> if Anakin liked sand, he would have been. If he liked sand. If Amy Schumer made people laugh, she'd be. <laughs> <laughs> If Ludendorff had had enough, you would have been melted. <laughs> if Ludendorff had had enough, he'd be melted. <laughs> if Wonder Woman hadn't believed in love, I guess she would have been melted too. <laughs> if Chris didn't punch boulders, he would have been melted. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, my eyes, they hurt. If Mola hadn't made a six-part series on TFA, he would have been melted. I can confirm this. They threatened it. <laughs> so he had to make it long, you see, because the time cops told him to. If pa, if pa Kent told Clark to save the children, he'd be <laughs> he melted. would have been melted. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know when he asks him, should I let them die? Parkhead looks off in the distance and he can see the TVA <laughs> there. <laughs> He's like, maybe. And hey, look, if, I... Aquaman, if Aquaman hadn't killed all the crab people, he would have been melted. If, if, if um... Was if Aquaman had taken up his mother's trident, he would have been <laughs> melted. If Joker hadn't told Batman he'd give him a reach around, he would have been melted. <laughs> if Martian Manhunter had helped, he would have been melted. If Ludendorff had had enough. <laughs> that was <laughs> really good. If had <laughs> if Wonder Woman didn't kill 18-year-old German conscripts, she would have been melted. <clears throat> so, uh, the episode wasn't very good. Yeah, it wasn't good, but at least we ended on a high note. Yeah. Um... I was say, should we, should we, I guess we should stop there? I can, uh, put all these, these super chats into a selection, because, uh, this is already an hour over what we intended, unfortunately. Yeah. It's supposed to be a quick stream, but you all telling jokes that are funnies. See, look, you're killing rats. <laughs> 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 I'm just imagining him in his hobbit <laughs> hole having to make these decisions. And he sees the time people outside his window. <laughs> and then just watching him butter his bread yeah. to make sure he gets it exactly right. <laughs> oh my okay. god. I'm so tired, but could you imagine if Isildur is standing there in Mount Doom and he's like gonna throw the ring in and then he looks over at the time people. Now, nope. <laughs> gotta keep the fucking ring! Right, it wasn't Boromir's fault that he tried to take the ring. The time people were standing Boromir off in the distance. Boromir didn't die, he'd be melted. <laughs> so Sauron is like, I don't know about this whole dominating the world thing. And they're like, you better fucking dominate the world. 
If Chris explained himself to Ethan, he would have been melted. Yeah. Oh my god. The time cop defense. Mm. My face hurts oh. from laughing. Oh yeah, if Metal had finished the movie Bob challenge, he <laughs> <laughs> melted. <laughs> Dude, anyone following me on Twitter right now is gonna be so confused. <laughs> oh, oh! If Luke didn't kiss his sister, he would have been melted. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Everyone's melting. Oh, what a, I just It's all just Oh, uh, if the eagles weird. had flown to Mordor, they would have been melted. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap. Crime. Would have shot him down with missiles. Oh no. If Kratos didn't grab him like a little cloud boy, he would have melted. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, we better stop. We okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so uh, oh no! Last one. If Jacob Kane doesn't find out what you bring me, he would have been <laughs> melted. <laughs> the king. Oh of the no! Meme. All right, that's enough. Uh, we will. I think the, the meme fab is coming out this weekend, and uh, we'll just be doing a catch-up stream again. And we'll, these ones will probably be done first uh, from this little stream. Mm -hmm. So uh. we'll see you then, folks. Um, no, I don't have any dates for when things are coming out. Working away on, on all kinds of things for EFAP, so, uh... See you then, I suppose. Um, thank you for joining us, Anne. I hope you had some fun. Oh, yeah, no problem. It was and, fun. And, uh, yeah, anything else you guys want to say before we jump away? I got nothing. Life is awful. Yes. Um, who knows how many times we've done this stream and didn't yeah. do it exactly the right yeah. way and got melted and reset. Who knows how many melted corpses of rags are just laying on his floor next to his snow. Dude, <laughs> just, I'm just I hate, waiting. I hate to think about through. it, but yeah. what if you do something wrong at your computer while you're streaming and they arrive and put that little device down? That's not going to change all of the shit you did oh, yeah, that's across right. the internet. It's got to be no. the whole... Planet, yeah, it's right? Gonna affect, to it's gonna affect that? all of reality at that point. The position of the Earth and the solar system? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna do everything. It rewind everything. That little know. tiny, that little cylinder rewinds the whole universe? I guess so. I it's guess pretty it powerful, does. huh? Damn. Then why do they have to even go there? What if it happens in space? Do you, what, what, <clears> what, if, what do you do? Yeah, on the ISS, on, on the International Space Station. What if the, yeah. what if other... the door, dunk, 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 hey, open up! This what if other time, time people are doing their time thing, and you rewind, and they're, they're like, well, why are you? No, fuck you, you ruined it, you know? What if the time cops fuck up the arrest, and they don't do it right? Yeah, do what they if they go off themselves? script by accident? Yeah. Oh boy, this just gets better and better. What a great episode. Thank you so much for making it, Disney. EFAP did <laughs> indeed for, melt. Thanks everyone for showing up for this. Yeah. Early, um, early, early morning stream of madness as we ride this roller coaster into our own graves. A light evening, depending on your point of view. We had loads of fun. We will catch you in the future, folks. Toodle pip, cheerio. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Don't get melted. Don't get melted.